Welcome, D20 players. I'm excited to present this adventure, Temple of the Green Devil by Sursa Victory. This is a Shadow Dark adventure, tournament style. We're going to have two groups of adventurers playing head-to-head, -head, me and another DM running tables at the same time, that being David Hartledge. And this will be some high intensity and, I think, very entertaining Shadow Dark. Settle in and watch, and check out Sursa's Kickstarter for the adventure when you have a chance. Temple of the Green Devil. Welcome to the Temple of the Green Devil. You are in the heart of a forbidden jungle. Veiled by steam, the ruins of an occult temple lie strangled by vines. The weathered stones bear no sign of the temple's god or its worshippers, and their relics have long since disintegrated. However, an eclipse now darkens the jungle, weakening the barrier between the land of the living and the realm of the dead. Chants rise from the reformed temple, luring in adventurers who seek the lost treasures of the great green devil and his beloved high priestess. Here are some adventure rules for us. So there's two teams, uh, three to four players each, each running in a separate instance of the adventure. So you can't really directly, you know, like if you open a door, they won't find that same door open, but you can sabotage them. You'll have opportunities throughout the adventure that might be able to influence what happens in their instance of the adventure and vice versa there's a time limit three hours of real time to collect as much treasure as possible timer stops after you see area one it starts when you see area one and when the time's up the eclipse passes and the team that scored the most points wins you can't rest you're unlikely to discover all areas and find all treasure the winning team's not the one that completes the adventure first but rather the team that explores the most chambers and liberates the most treasure however completing the adventure will likely result in winning outright because it's really hard. Uh, there's a death penalty. You'll lose points for each time a PC dies, and you'll die immediately at zero hit points. The slain PC will lose all their luck, reappear next to an ally they choose on their next turn with their hit points restored, but nothing else. All their lost spells remain lost. If there's any effects going on them, those effects are on them. There's no corpse. This is like another instance of your character or a different character that's similar to yours coming into existence or you had found them in the temple, etc. cetera. Uh, there's a break at halftime. Assume each of you have a torch going and you all have one torch in your inventory, so I turned on your torch light for all four of you. Um, if you ever need to drop all torches out of your inventory, we'll turn off your torch light. Searching will take a little bit longer in this uh, adventure to like remove the jungle vines and the overgrowth and such like that. It'll take you a full round to search something that's right beside you. So if you see something across the room, you'll have to take a crawling round to go to it, and then a second crawling round, search it. Before you came to this temple, in the steaming hot jungle the night before your sleep was troubled by feverish premonitions of horrors you might encounter some were vivid seen in stark hideous detail there's no mistaking what was seen and four out of five of these are going to be true some were vague uh half glimpsed through a haze of fear and four out of five of those are going to be false you won't know which are true which are false but you will know which are vivid and which are vague and so i'd like each of you to rule a d10 for me please looks like we got two three and ten so we will start out we'll just go in order of those Premonition 2. A vague premonition. A mortal wearing death mask face paint that leaps into a living sphere of annihilation is instead transported to a hidden tomb vault deep beneath a temple. <laughs> premonition 3. Vivid. A key needed to unseal the hidden tomb of the Mother of Spears is embedded inside a giant limestone gargoyle chiseled in the likeness of a four-armed carnivorous ape. Mortals attempting to destroy the gargoyle must contend with its wrathful 12 attacks per round. Oh and, and then premonition number 10. This one is vague. The Lamia Sphere Priestess's Venom allows a mortal to comprehend the occult whispering of the colossal six-fingered cannibal idol. And he's very excited to jump in the uh, uh, sphere. Oh, let's do some character introductions. Speaking of Wee-Woo. Okay, so Jessen is in the background. Hopefully that player will show up, but we'll go with three if they don't. Oh, Lauren, we'll start with you. Alrighty, so Lauren is an elven wizard, does his best to keep his appearance nice and orderly, even here in the jungle. He is a devout follower of Ord, and um, you know that he was banished from his homeland for what he describes as a faux pas of the political nature, but other than that, he never goes into it. <laughs> <laughs> uh ryland go ahead uh ryland is a human thief a cutthroat um he does follow i think it's pronounced jeed or jed um but not in any real passionate manner very again very well put together very kind of rakish and, and a smooth talker he uh he's looking to make a name for himself and collecting a whole bunch of treasures a good way to do that and we woo 
Wait. Liu was uh, raised by barbarians, uh, so he's always been the the shortest of uh, of anyone in it of his tribe, and uh, so hence the name Wei Wei Wu. Um, he's basically a, a ranged hunter. Um, so I and uh, is looking to make a name for himself and 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 go back to his tribe with a worthy prize. It will be a worthy prize indeed if you guys are successful. All right, so we are ready to go, really. So we're going to pause here a little bit, coordinate. You guys can talk about strategy between yourselves about tackling this adventure while we wait for the other team to be ready to start. The well, Tom, right off the bat, I don't think we was going to light his torch. Okay. Um, if we have two other torches here, I don't think we should waste all of our resources. Uh, right there's one the thing special about this adventure in that uh, torches are handy everywhere. So uh, you'll never run out uh, as long as you have a slot that you can put the torch in. You're good. But if you want to do it for sneaking around, for example, <laughs> if any of you guys want to change your light, you can click your token and there's a there's an O button and a T button. O turns off your light and T turns back on you. Okay. T, I'm T. gonna go go in without light for now. Okay. Yeah, you can yeah. go ahead and turn that off. If and we would if we would like to, just because I'm looking at our HP pool, I'm a little squishy. <laughs> I can go in the middle of us in marching order and have the torch on. Sounds good. Sure. I, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, our group makeup is not optimal because I'm a ranged fighter. Um, we don't have anyone that goes in anyone's face. So I think we need to be very judicious as to what fights we choose to get into. I mean, as you always do in Shadow Dark. Yeah, but... if, we, if we can avoid a fight, all the better, since our goal is pretty much expressly loot. Like yeah, we are yeah. Here to loot. So, uh, who among us has the best charisma, in case... Not me. I have I, 17. Oh, that's you then. So, I, uh, yeah. So, we'll let you do the talking, in case we run into something that looks like it can be reasoned with, and not that we have to just run. And, and, and fortunately, you have the most languages, too, so um, yeah. that'll help. Yep, I, I do. do. I took a look. Okay, good. And, Actually, uh, I, only, I only have two. I have Orcish and Common. Yeah, I got Common, Elvish, Sylvan, Reptilian, Fawny, and Diabolic, oh my. and Primordials. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> oh. I can interpret if needed. And uh, inter I took a lot of utility spells. I took Detect Magic, uh, Featherfall, Hold Person, and Knock. I would prefer we only use Knock in a must-use scenario. Yeah, right. Fair. Yeah, you don't want to lose it and then come to a door that we need it for. Yeah, but like Hold Person, uh, like you were saying, we don't really aren't built around getting up in people's faces. With Hold Person, I should be able to keep some more of the scary things at range well if they're people if they're people <laughs> but other than that i do have burning hands which is a nice little aoe do you have anything else like um like sleep or something that roots people in place no nope, just, per just hold person Cause... because i also took a uh, feather fall and mage armor yeah mage armor is complete go ahead i'm also built around ranged i i went crossbow i have like a a dagger uh so like i need to be up close i can but i really i wanted to go ranged yeah i have a plus one staff so if something gets in my face <laughs> and like it's not enough to pop off the big fire circle i can whack <laughs> but it's not my most reliable so i think that uh we're definitely going to be moving as judiciously and quietly as we can through this place yeah. Well, I'm surprised you didn't take Magic Missile because that one ha is super reliable. Like, you it's don't. Re it's reliable, but I wanted to go in with as much utility. Good. Okay, I understand. Just because I I knew going in that with Cersei's victory, uh, Cersei victory and all that, there's going to be a lot of traps, and uh, I wanted to make sure we had all our bases covered for loot gathering and whatnot. Do you have light? The I spell. Do I do not. Okay. All right. Yep. I have burning hands, detect magic, featherfall, mage armor, hold person, and knock in case of emergencies. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. pumped. I've got good atmosphere here. There's an actual thunderstorm here as the adventure started. Oh, that's not so bad. <laughs> Very ominous. Yep. I was gonna say, uh, okay. Well, we made some god angry already. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at any time, if you guys want to re-see your premonitions, just let me know. I'll be happy to click them for you. Okay. I, I made a snip, and I have it on my snip screen. Yeah, I copied, oh, that's it, clever. Onto, I copied it onto my character sheet. Listen, you guys. 
showing me up. <laughs> it's it's the elven nature of things. <laughs> I was just going to be entirely reliant on Tom, but I guess I can. There we go. Snipped. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then I also uh, just in my back pocket. I don't know if it'll be useful or not. I have uh, one of my talent rolls let me make a potion of mind reading again don't know how helpful it will be but it lasts for an hour i believe let me double check yes i'll be right back guys hey david mm -hmm. we're ready when you are I you just let me know in the uh in the x chat if you want i think we're we're good to go i think you're good to go all right yeah the alien but i'd say go ahead and start i'll start the clock now very good Yep, and it's within near range, so that's pretty All right, guys. Near, well, it's got to be 30 feet then, yeah. yeah. We are yeah, good so to we're, start. We're good. So I'm going to have copies of your characters up top there, and I'm going to have, I'm going to put my start time here at 8.18, and there'll be copies of your characters in the adventure itself that you're playing, so let me turn those on for you. You'll see them down here, and let me read the description for you. We have one. The High Priestess Statues. Statues tower of towering women in sleeveless dresses peeling green paint, each depicted with horns and a talisman of great green devil face. The talismans are stone, part of the statues. The mouths are open in wide black O's. There's crude turquoise jewelry. Two pieces dangle from each statue, eight total. There's a skeleton lying on the ground in the midst of the statues. You have a view of the main temple doors. They're to the east, with statues flanking the entrance leading to the main temple. The temple is enormous, and you might find additional entrances along its perimeter. There is a freestanding smaller temple visible through dense palm trees and steam to the north. If you zoom way out on your token, and we will turn back off torch here since this is a different token i'd already turned it on go all right so we're going to jump into crawling rounds everyone just click your token click initiative you guys can actually change the order you do things in but i want to get you the initiative there so if everyone take a turn you can all move together and i'll get to you individually and ask you what you're doing if you're just double moving just say you know moving um okay let's start with and uh yeah go ahead just so i'm clear where are those statues like the statue be you see the there? stars to the four quarters oh, of those, are, those are the statues those are the statues the uh the diamond-looking thing, the sunburst-looking thing, those are palm trees. And the gotcha. main entrance to the temple looks to be to your east. Okay, Oloren, what do you want to do? And, and everyone can move. You don't have to wait for me, me to get to you to move. Oloren, what do you want to do? I am going to attempt to pop mage arm. Oh, no, unsuccessfully. Yep. Ryland. <laughs> um, I'm going to go look at this statue and uh, give it a quick inspection. And I... I might snag one of those uh, crude jewelry pieces. Yeah, uh, the statue has two pieces. There's a bead of strings, and there is a bracelet. And examining these things, you can see they, they vibrate faintly with kind of a siren song. And with each piece you get nearby, the vibration grows stronger. The bead will give you a plus one to your armor class if you wear it. And the, the uh, bracelet... We'll give you plus two to your decks if you wear it. You can put those on if you like, if you have slots for them. I absolutely do have spots, I believe. I think I have. Yes. All right. I will put can, them both on. You can drop stuff if you like. Uh, that was Ryland. Just keep a careful track because you'll need to know what you can and can't. Wee woo. Um, where's the skeleton? Uh, you're right next to it. All right. I look down at the skeleton, see uh, maybe what caused its demise and what. Maybe if it has anything of value on it. All right. The skeleton, uh, it is wearing rusted armor. It's half swallowed by the muck. It is pointing to the north entrance, which you can barely just see uh, about 50, 60 feet north of you, northeast of you. It's mm -hmm. pointing to the north entrance with a shattered right hand. That's all you find. Next, oh. next round. Everyone can move if you like. Uh, Lauren, what do you want to do? All right. So talking to everyone do we want to go in through this main entrance or do we want to check out i i take i i i always do what skeletons tell me to do oddly well, enough, that's... I'll, I'll agree in this circumstance i can't argue with that logic it's flawless literally flawless all right then i'm going to begin making my way north and i can attempt to recast mage armor as long as it's not in that one correct no it's lost for you. Oh, it's lost. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Unfortunately, that's fine. Then yeah, I'm just gonna. You're moving. Move. You're moving. Okay, Ryland. Um, I almost feel like maybe I should be checking out some more of these statues on the way. Do 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 do. All right. Uh, again, two more pieces of turquoise jewelry. Uh, this one's nice. got a bead of strings that gives you another plus one to armor class, and a <laughs> circlet that gives you a plus two to intelligence. And as you have four of these things nearby each other now, the siren song is even stronger. You want to put any of those um, on? 
for taking even with you. Mm, I will pocket them for now. We're here for treasure. I'm going to take some treasure. All right. You got a beads and a circlet. Next to go is Wee-Woo. Um, do I hear the siren song as he does this? You can hear the same things R- Raylan does. Yeah, Raylan does. Okay, so the song got louder as he picked those things up. Yeah. I said, you know, I, I have a bad feeling about this. Maybe you shouldn't be carrying all of those. Would you like one? Yes. <laughs> well, if you move over to him, you can take uh, as many of his things as you want. So he'll give you. Okay, uh, 5, 10, 15. Uh, I, th- I hand you one of the beads with the AC and one of the circlets with int. Circlet gives you int. You want to put any of those on, Wee Woo? Um, well, I, I can only take one, and I will drop my dagger for Which a bead. One? You'll take the beads. Okay, so you still have the circlet, Island, and that's and, the end of that round. And, well, I'm going to continue my movement. Next round, everyone can move, and Oloran. Go ahead. Oh, let me tell you what you see up there, Lauren. So you got up there to the north towards the north entrance, and from there you can see uh, mud caked limestone doors to the north and to the south, uh, partway into the hall. There is far down the hall a dark pillared chamber, barely visible through billowing steam. What would you like to do, Lauren? I am going to call out what I see and then just wait to form a marching order right. so my friends can go in in front of me. All right, then. Moving? Yeah. We will. Can I double? Is that yeah. an option? Yes, you can double move. Yep. I will take one step in and then I will stop it there. Okay. Nothing happens. We will. It's 20 feet and then 25. And I can move what, uh, 60 total. So I have uh, 35 left. I'm going to stop here. Okay. You see those doors to the north and to the south. Barely visible, a large dark pillared hall to the east. And time for a encounter chat. An encounter. Nothing. Uh, everyone take your turn. Oh, Lauren, what are you doing? I am going to move over to this north and just uh, listen. Okay. So again, you move this turn, and the uh, listen will be next turn if you want to do a listen. Yes, I listen. Uh, Ryland. Hey, Ryland, give um, that plus one int uh, item to Orlin. Yeah, I got room for it. Sure. I will. Oopsie. Four. I pass it to you. Okay. You want to put that on, oh, Lauren? You- Yes, I will put it on. And Circlet. what's it do again? Uh, plus two to intelligence. Awesome. Um, just real quick, Tom. Can stats go above 20 in this? Like, I have a 20 dex. Is the uh, it doesn't do anything beats. for you except uh, help you against stat damage. It doesn't give you any more modifiers, but it can. Okay, perfect. Just so I know whether or not I have a 20 or 22. 20 yeah. dex. Okay. Uh, and if I am able to split my movement, I will go down to this door. If I can't, I'll stay up. You can split it, yeah. Okay, there you go. And we will. Uh, I'll come down to the store and listen. Okay. Next round, you'll listen. Uh, this round, Aloran, you're listening, so no sound at all through that door. Island. I, I was doing the same thing. I was going to listen at this door. No sound at all at that door. We will. Oh, well, did all the listening. I'm going to... Uh, is there a rock nearby me? Yeah. Can I pick up the rock and throw it into the, the mist over here? You do. You see the mist kind of swirl as the rock passes through it. You hear clack, clack, clack as the rock comes to the uh, stop, but nothing else. All right. Always the halflings making weird noises. Okay, I'm done. Next round, everyone can make their movement. You can open doors as a free interaction, one per turn, and step into the room beyond if you like. Uh, Oh, Lauren. I'm going to look to my friends. Do we want to go in through one of these doors and see what there is, or just continue on our way all? Uh, Let's open both of these doors to confirm there's nothing behind us. Got it. And I'm going to open that door. All right. Lauren, you see beyond that door, mud effigies, life-sized mud statues. They picked jungle beasts and devil-masked huntresses. You see dried mud covering the floor in heaps. Uh, an odor of bare earth and rotting vegetation assaults your nostrils. Oh, that's lovely. Rylan, what are you doing? Same thing. Boop. And you can move, too, if you want to get further in. I wouldn't recommend going too far, obviously, in case something happens. But you find a fountain of hope. A fountain, large Ooh. and set against the east wall. You smell sugarcane sweetened wine dripping from the limestone and turquoise lips of a half-serpent woman. Alamia in the wall. There's mur- murals around the walls of six armed demon women praying in shafts of moonlight. There's a jeweled, soul catching skull sitting on a ledge of the fountain. And Aloran, oh, Aloran, don't move. You want to stay where you were because you already did your turn. Oh, uh, yep, sorry. Ryland, it's done. We will. Ooh, maybe this is the, the uh, venom that you told us about, Ryland. Um, I'm gonna go in. Oh, one, two, three. Where is the is the fountain? Oh, it's over here. I see now. Okay. Uh, I started here. Ten. Real dark there, and doesn't get any lighter for you since you have no torch going. Oh, I have no torch. Darn it. 
<laughs> well, I'm gonna move here. I'm excited about uh, drinking Lamia Lamia Venom. Okay, next <laughs> round. Everyone, take your movement. You and your order. Oh, Lauren, you don't have to wait for me to get to you to do your move. Yep. There is a lot of mud up here, and then I'm gonna turn around and see my friends are heading into that room. And all right, um, Ryland. So Ryland, I, the jeweled uh... skull. You get next to it. Oh, it's on yeah. the lip of the, the lip there. Um, here's what it is. It's a ceramic skull swirling with black dust, with jewels for eyes and teeth, sculpted in the likeness of a demi lich. It reveals one random premonition when first found. Go ahead and roll a d10 for me, please. Uh, each time one of you dies, the skull will capture your soul, even if the skull was not in your possession when you died. Other events in the tournament may also cause the skull to capture souls. I think we rolled a three-hour race. Go ahead and re-roll that. Four. Okay. All right, so premonition number four, this is what the skull whispers to you, is vivid. It says the three segments of the seven-part rod buried in the necropolis of black quicksand explode into a cloud kill if joined together. Seems specific. Very. Okay, that was uh, it was Ryland who went over there. Um, and then Wee Woo. Um, I'm going to come up and uh, a drink from the fountain. Okay. Um, let's see here. There are, and this is, you know this before you drink, so you don't have to drink. You can decide after you know this. Uh, there are three drinks. Basically, three of you can drink one time, or one of you can drink three times. A drink will heal all your hit points, restore all your spells, and give you a luck token. Oh, it, it would be a waste. Yeah, I don't drink. And then next ah. round, we got a Wandering Monster check. No Wandering Monsters. And it will move where you want, and we'll lower it. So the water was hit points, restore spells, or a luck token. All three, actually. All three? Yeah. Man, it'd be nice to try to get Mage Armor back. Uh, what do, what do we think? Would it be worth it for me to drink? No. <laughs> no? No. It, if, you want, it, if you want, I can stab you first, and then you can have a drink. That way you yeah. get hit points in the spell. Nope, that's fine. Uh, then I'm going to tell you guys that room that I opened was nothing but mud. If we want to go in there and get muddy, seeing if there's anything buried we can, or we can just carry on towards the pillar hall. I put up here at the top a uh, copy of the jewel, Jeweled Soul Catching Skull. I'll do that with any uh, significant magic items you find, so you can always reference up there to what they do Perfect. for your reference. And Ryland, your turn. Oh no, can you click back down low? Hold on. Betcha. And scroll. Perfect, thank you. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We open the room. I'm looking in the room. Oh my god, that's so much stuff. Double moving up to there. This is what you see up there. Inscription. Lots of mud and statues and odor of bare earth. Um, let's see, that was Ryland. And we will. All right, I'm going to head that way as well, as far as I can see. So this is 20 feet, 25. Um, oh, I can see pretty much. Uh, so I'll move my 35 to here. Very cool. All right. Um, that's the end of that round. Everyone take another turn. Well, Lauren, right. what you doing? Double double moving to moving. catch up. Uh, Rylan, what you doing? I am going to go deeper in. And what are, were these made of? Clay? Uh, yes. Life-size mud statues depicting jungle beasts and devil mass huntresses. Actually, instead of going that way, I'm going to go to this one because it's recessed into the wall a bit. So I'm going to look at these two. Give them a deep inspection and uh, poke at them a bit. So you moved and we'll do your inspection next round. Uh, we will. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to inspect this one right here. All right. Dun, 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 dun. So um, it is made out of clay. Uh, no, made out of mud. So you could, you don't see anything on the outside of it. You okay. can certainly dig in it because it's uh, movable or diggable. Uh, uh, that's it. I'm going to. You can do that next Okay. Uh, okay. Lauren, your turn. I am going to move up to this northernmost one and just give it a thorough inspection. Okay. On Nothing on the outside of that one. Riley. Right. Um, is the is the mud soft or is it like hardened? It's like soft. Packed? It's soft. Uh, okay, guys, I'm gonna regret this, and I kind of start pushing my hand into this one. Okay, start digging through the mud. Um, if there is anything inside there, it would take a. I would basically roll a random encounter check. By the time it take you to dig through it, you want to do that? Absolutely. All right, random encounter check first. Oh, oh we got good. one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, and it's this one. Okay. <clears throat> As you're ready to go, a boulder crashes through the wall here. Guys, guys, <laughs> guys, guys, guys. A boulder-sized skull with gems for eyes and teeth shatters through the walls and splinters bones under its bulk. Everyone roll initiative. Let's see, that was we were on round 110. So we finished with the set. And have it roll its initiative. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, Rylan, you see that thing burst through the wall and you go first. What do you want to do, Rylan? I'm not. Am I stuck in this statue? You're not stuck like, at my all, hand. No. Oh, thank God. Um, I say, whoop, good luck. 
<laughs> moving? Go. Double move? Okay, yeah. then yeah. next is Aloran. I'm doing the exact same thing. Double move and a wee-woo. Um, I'm going to move to here, and I'm going to shut the door as a free action, and move to... Uh, I'm going to spike the door as an action. Okay. And then I will move to this side of it. Okay. It's turn. You hear the rumble of the thing rolling across the floor, squishing mud. It gets to the door. You hear. It, you see the door splinter as the thing hits it. Uh, we'll do an opposed strength check. We will see how strongly you spike that door. It okay. got a 15. Ooh, we will. Yeah. You, you hold it back. Uh, next round. We're still in combat because it could still break through it. Ryland. Um, let's go this way. Mm, nice. Mm. Okay, Ryland. You're moving. You see the shrine of the great green devil. Great green devil head, enormous, hewn from limestone, peeling green paint, choked with vines, its mouth open in a wide O. You see clay jars scattered at the base of the head. You see pillars buckling, decorated with murals of horned priestesses. You see an, uh, well, when you get to where you can see, there's an ebon disc set into the east wall, 10 feet in diameter. It's solid black and absorbs your light. So it's like a black circle in the blackness uh, at the edge of your okay. You're double moving. Oh, Lauren. Uh, moving to catch up to right. Oh, I'm going to go follow my light holders. Uh, <laughs> double move in. The boulders are going to try and get through again. Another opposed strength check. We will. 21 this time for the boulder. Ooh. With oh, an action, no! the boulder smashes through the door. One, two, three, four, five, six, and moves into the edge of your light. Just right that way. It's gone. So this boulder, like, turned a corner. <laughs> Correct. So it's it's pro it's like animated or alive. It's a boulder-sized skull with gems for eyes and teeth, and uh, it's moving at you, yes. Okay. That's it for its turn. And Ryland. Uh, maybe we should destroy it. It's got gems for eyes, guys. Okay. How do we destroy a boulder? Right, you want me to poke it with my daggers? <laughs> uh, do, do you have anything with a longer range than a dagger? A crossbow. Oh, oh, oh. Can we maybe um, get it stuck in this um, this Sorry. statue's mouth? I was literally just thinking that. And I'm going to I'm going to regret this. I dive into the statue's mouth. Inside the statue's mouth is a dark cavity filled with human bones and dried blood. It's large enough. It's about assume it's the ten by ten centered on like the nose of that uh, figure that you have. Um, that's inside its mouth. Uh, large enough to walk around in. Um, that's what you see. Uh, next to go is Aloran. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. I am going don't, to... Don't come in here, there's not enough room. Nope. <laughs> I'm just going to move in front of the statue's mouth, and then I am going to yell out in diabolic the equivalent of Toro, Toro! Wee woo, your turn. Um... Does it look like the um, the boulder it would uh, be too big for the mouth, or is it going to be able to go inside of it? It'll go inside. It could go inside. It could go inside. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm oh, going to... Oh, oh go wait. I'm sorry. We have something cool that just happened. I almost forgot. Uh, first team to enter the mouth. You guys may shout with the voice of the green devil as a party a three-word message to the other party. Oh, that's... What cool. three-word message you want to send them? <laughs> uh, uh, um, oh, we don't want to help them, right? Um... No, we want to sabotage. Uh, but then if we tell them something, they're going to assume it's a sabotage and do the opposite. Um, uh, I, I'll just say hug the boulder. Hug the, I was going to say feed the boulder. <laughs> hug, hug the boulder. The boulder <laughs> okay. You want me to tell them that? Yep. Okay. Uh, yep. Hey, guys. Quick, uh, hey. quick interrupt from the other team. You hear a deep voice shout, hug the boulder. And uh, three random encounter checks, Dave. Okay. All right. Good luck, guys. <clears throat> All right. Uh, they also are facing three random encounter checks at the same time. Three at the same time? Oh, yep. my Lord. Yep. Okay. Uh, you know what? Maybe we're not so bad. <laughs> uh, what? We were in the middle of your turn, Wee Woo. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Wee Woo is going to... Uh, I think he has to dash. What's what's uh, jumping distance, like a long jump distance in this game? Uh, let's do... A about equal to your strength score, so 12 feet. 12 feet. If I move here and jump, I, I would just end up over there. But you can't go further than your move. Uh, all right. Well, then so you uh, move 60 I'm going to dash uh, next to the statue and um, look around like for a good place to jump up. I want to jump up above the mouth of the statue next turn um, or find out that there's really no good way to do that. 
Um, so if you look at the statue there, it's kind of standing upright right here in the room. This mouth oh, is, you know, it's here. Yeah. Oh, this is the black oh. ebon disc. Oh, okay. Well, then I was close. I want to jump up onto the, the statue. Climb up onto like, the statue. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like above the eyes. Uh, the boulder stern it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it's going to do a rolling crush. One, two, no. three, four, five. And basically just smash back into the back of the devil mouth. Uh, maybe <laughs> move him back. Rolling over Oloran and Ryland in the process. So Oloran, 21 to hit you for 14 bludgeoning. I am a pancake. Uh, plus it's trapping your soul. Um, well, it kills you either way. Opposing team skull gains two souls. Okay. And then he'll also do Ryland. Rolling crush on Ryland is only 10. Ryland somehow squeezes yes. against the walls and is not crushed oh, by this God. thing. My, my corpse got the teeth nice and gummy. <laughs> uh, still make for me a DC 9 wisdom or charisma check, Valorian, to see if your skull was trapped or your soul was trapped. Got it. Oh, you made it. No soul trapped. Okay. So, Lauren, you're going to reset uh, on your next turn adjacent to any ally. This thing I'm going to put in the back is, you know, crammed in the back of the devil mouth there. And <gasps> Ryland, your turn. Sorry, I was just reading the skull benefit. It's not really clear if we want to be trapping souls or not. <laughs> um, am I able to like get out of the mouth with this thing in it? Yes. So I'm gonna like can't click on myself because he's on me. There we go. I squeeze out. Um, uh, how much clearance around this thing and the mouth is there? Like, is it pretty tight or is it like? It's real tight. Little... Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take out my iron spikes. And start trying to like drive them around the base of the like around the edge of the the skull to try and keep it pinned in the back there. You imagine it won't be a hundred percent successful. It'll have the same chance of getting out like when we would try to trap it with the door. All right, I poke it with my dagger. Okay, and stab it with your dagger then. <laughs> Go for it. That's a hit. Five points of magical piercing damage. Wounding it. Uh, oops, did I? That was Ryland, and the Oloran goes after Ryland. So yeah, uh, would Go ahead, it be Lauren. Plus is Wewu still on top of the statue? He is. Could I uh, spawn in adjacent to him on top you of may, the statue? Yes. Awesome. Hey, right. I thought you were down there. <laughs> I thought you were down there. And then, um, oh, this is just all kinds of bad. Uh, oh, Give it a whack. That's an interesting idea. How uh, strong and sturdy is this statue in appearance? Very strong and sturdy. Got it. Then that probably won't do anything then. Yeah. I am going to... Can I attack it from up here with my quarterstaff? Not until it comes out of the mouth. Not until it comes out. You can look at the picture. You're like up above the mouth and it's inside, so... Yeah, I see. Then, yeah, I'm just going to wait for it to come out. Okay. I'll let you ready. Even though that's not really a thing in Shadow Dark. We will. Oh, great. Thank you. Um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say maybe if we... Uh, dislodge its gem eyes or destroy the gem eyes it won't be able to see um and i take out my plus one longbow and uh and can is, is there such a thing as ready in yeah, action in you can this? ready yeah you can be ready to shoot it as soon as you see it yeah i'm gonna ready to shoot it i'm gonna aim for the eyes boo all right the boulder <laughs> with his action gonna try and break out of its confined area there uh it's gonna be a strength versus you can use your decks ryland if you want oh thank god okay yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, uh, you got the spikes in the right locations to stop it this round. The next round, Ryland. Um, oh, wait, uh, no, you didn't. You, you used the dagger on it, didn't you? No, you're right. I, okay. did, I stabbed it. Let me it. Uh, yes. roll and we crush you it. instead. Or, or you could not. 20 is a hit for 23 bludgeoning as it rolls over Ryland on the way out. Uh, Ryland, make a DC 9 wisdom or charisma check your choice. Obviously, it's going to be charisma. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ryland oh, my gosh. loses his soul. Until the other That's fine. Dance through. Okay. Da, 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 da. Souls are useless uh, anyway. Uh huh. Okay. Um, I'll get it. I'll get another one. I'm gonna keep track of the two souls. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, something just happened here. Uh, something good? Uh, no, I wouldn't say good. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Okay. Um, <laughs> ash drifts through your temple until the end of the tournament. All hits by the Kopesh of Extinction against you will be critical hits. They found the volcanic Whoa. urn of the sickle dancer and spread its ashes through your temple. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> So all, that's rude. All Kobesh, will, Kobesh will be crits. Okay. Elves will go extinct with the half orcs. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have to worry about the boulders gonna do us in. I know, right? 
Okay, so the Boulder rolled across for Island. It's done. Uh, we have some ready to tax. Oh, Lauren, you can take yours. We will yep. take yours. Got it. It's a 12 for four. Uh, armor class in the thing is 15, it turns out. Oh, wait. Am I the wrong thing? I think it's 11. 11. Okay, so you did four magic bludgeoning to it. And then we woo 17. That's a hit. That is nine magic piercing to it. And... This thing, when it takes that hit from you, Wee Woo, disgorges. The boulder bellows, and a troop of thieving ghost monkeys rush from the skull's mouth. All of you have to make a 15 strength check, or one random treasure will be stolen and taken to the opposing team. We're only getting bad stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh. Rylan, you held on to <laughs> yours. We will held on to his. Lauren lost one magic item. That's going to be your circlet, I think, right? Yep. yep I, I also have the potion of mind reading, but I have the circlet. Yeah. Uh, just the other team. No, the monkeys brought them a treasure. Well, I'm just back to my normal intelligence now. <laughs> if you would like to feel more dexterous, I can lend you my beads, I think it was, or bracelet. Bracelet. It wouldn't do me much good, but I appreciate the thought. Okay. Uh, the boulder just went. Rylan, your turn. You can start adjacent to someone. There's no more perch space up left. Uh, above fortunately i guess i'm down on the ground <laughs> um why don't you start behind the statue or something get more cover you know what? i'm gonna move up behind this this is a pillar right correct uh and i'm gonna take a shot with my crossbow all right fire away Dunk. that's a hit two points of piercing damage to the thing am i do i have backstab am i hidden you have to hide first take a you can be uh, hiding when you're moving around if you're not searching right or you can it as an action. All right. Gotcha. Two points for that. Rylan's done. Alora, in your turn. Well, the quarterstaff looked like it did better than I thought it would. I don't know if it's going to be dumb enough to try to charge at us again up here. Can I go ahead and just ready in case? Or... In case he gets near you, yes, you may. We will. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to shoot my longbow at it, and, um, and I'm going to... Can I l leap off the back of the statue after I do that and land back here? Yeah, you can move after you take a shot. All right, uh, here's my shot. 18 hit, six points of magic piercing to it. Things getting crumbling, pieces are crumbling off of it. I, but it's I, still I shout at it, follow me, ugly, and I jump down behind the statue. And now the boulder's turn. Boulder will go... What? No. <laughs> six. Bad boulder. And then do a rolling crush. Uh, moves 30 feet in a straight line to attack each creature, but you dodge all the way, Rylan, as it smashes against the wall right by you there. Oh, dear um, God. You can stay in the square. You don't move until your turn. Uh, that runs over. Ryland, yeah. your turn. Now you can move. Oh, yeah. Um, I am going to toss my crossbow down, and I'll pick it up later, and give it the old stabaroo. Oak. 12 is a hit. Two points damage to it. Then old am, I able to, am I able to continue moving, or yep. is it like... Yep, you can split your movement up. <laughs> oh, Lorian, your turn. Uh, would it cost uh, how much movement to get off the statue? A couple squares. There we go. A couple squares. Okay, then I'm going whacking with my staff. Okay. 16 is a hit for two damage. Nice. And then right. Wee Woo, your turn. I'll uh, step here and oh, uh, take, take a shot. Don't go in a line. Guys, guys, don't go oh, in a line. No. <laughs> well, no, I can, I can move again. Yeah, yeah. you can move. Okay. I'm going to just look at Wee Woo. Run. Yeah, oh, I'm five. I can probably move to here. Five. Boulder will do a rolling crush. Oh, Lauren dodges Ooh. it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Smashes against the south wall. And uh -huh. next round. Rylan, your turn. Uh, I don't really have line of... I'm assuming I don't have line of sight. Oh, I don't. I didn't pick up my crossbow. I threw it down. You could hide you there if that's what you're asking. Moving on up. Stab oh. with the dagger. No, another nope. one. Oh, Lauren, your turn. Yep, charging oh. forward. Whacking with my quarter step. Eight's a miss. Ooh. We will your turn. Yep. Uh, I'm going to back up. You can keep moving. We're all Lauren. waiting on you. This is... And I'm going to shoot. Oh, no. no. One miss by one. Uh, Boulder's turn. Okay. One through three. I'm going to keep moving, oh. though. Right okay, there. keep moving. Okay. And it's going to go north after Lauren. Uh, Roll a crush. 13. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But only six damage. One, two, yep. three, four, five, six. Uh, so you take six damage and you have a nine wisdom or charisma check, or you die anyway. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> oh, Lauren, death number three for the party. And oh, my goodness. two souls to the so team. Does the soul catching skull do anything oh uh, yeah well you guys are definitely capturing the souls to you're up to three yeah okay. all right it it's done ryland your turn Stab. that's a hit four magic piercing finishes the boulder it crumbles oh. down into dust destroyed and let me go back to uh crawling rounds on one on 109 and uh Ryland, you can take the first crawling round. So let me describe the room for you again. We see all around you. Great green double head, clay jars all around the head. Pillar, a lot of them shattered, but not all of them. Uh, pillars buckling, decorated with murals, ebon disc. Um, did the 
uh, Demulich Bowler eyes, are they still around or are they kind of shattered as well? All shattered, yeah. Nothing of value in the rel- rubble, so that'll be your search this round. Uh, Aloran, your turn. Uh, I spawn back in with uh, hit points, correct? Oh, your soul, you did die. Yeah, you get 12. Yeah, I'm back in with 12. Jason, did any ally? Uh, do I have, or, and uh, do I pop back in with my spells back no. as well? Or is nope. No, no spells. Good to know. The Good only thing you get back is hit points. You'll lose um, all luck tokens, too, if you die. If you yeah, but I'm going to spawn in next to Ryland, and I am going to just investigate this uh, black disc. Ah, the black disc. Okay. Uh, it's 10 feet in diameter. Solid. Absorbs light. Uh, certainly breakable. Looks like you could break it if you wanted. Nothing around it or or behind it that you can see. Um, yeah, that's all you know. Uh, we will. I uh, uh, move to here, 10, 15. Yeah, I'm going to move up to the uh, disc. Does this look like my premonition of the uh, sphere, of annihil- a st- sphere of annihilation? Uh, here's your premonition. So it's your, your, your call on what it, if it does or not. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to jump into the disc. Incredible. <laughs> uh, Lawless, no notes. Okay. You... Let's see here. Smash into the disc. The disc shatters when you jump into it. You don't go through it. You hit the wall. You slump down to the ground. But a cloud kill billows out of the disc. Uh, Let me draw that for you. Uh, Matt. Oh, goodness. A sickly green cloud kill. It's a close cube. There we go. Okay. That area is cloud killed. And... It um, also obscures vision, so I'm turning off your vision for your guys. <laughs> okay, so you see the cloud kill billowing out of where the disc was, and okay, the first person to go after Wee Woo is Ryland. Ryland, on the start of uh-huh. your on the start of your turn, you're gonna take two d6 damage from the poison gases. Seven damage of Ryland, I'll do it to you since you probably can't see your token. Okay. I already have it selected. <laughs> you are still conscious. Uh, you can't see anything. Uh, the poison is terrible. If you end your turn in it, you think you'll die. Uh, I know roughly where I was. You so can I'm tell me where you and... want to move just in, in north, southeast, west. Or I'm going to stumble southeast. north. I stumble feel like north. I was pretty close to north. Yeah. Okay, you're still until in I it. Bonk into a, until I bonk into a wall. Okay, the second north square you step into, you are out of it. And I'll vision back on. There you go. Um, do I you, see my crossbow that I dropped? I don't know. <laughs> I don't recall where you dropped it. You'll have to. It was kind of in this it's your general call. Area. It's your call. If you can see it, you can see it. Yeah, I'll uh, pick it up again. That's Ryland. Uh, if you move where you want, Ryland. Anything, gonna, anything else you want to do, Ryland? I don't really know what else I could do about this other than step in and breathe deep, so I'll pass. Okay, Oloran, you start in the cloud kill. You take 2d6 damage. Uh, 10 points, I'll do that to you. You're still alive. Tell me in directions where you want to go. Uh, North. As double One, you don't see anything. Here. Two, you don't see anything. Three, you're out. Oh. Vision back. Okay. You can keep moving. You've moved three squares so far. Yep, I'm just going to yell out, Wee Woo, North! <laughs> All right, Wee Woo, uh, you start in the cloud kill. You take five points damage. I'll do that to you. That's fine. And tell me in directions which way you want to go. Uh, I wanted to go south, <laughs> but I go north. One, two, uh, three, four. 20 feet of movement, and you can see again. Back on. Save that. Okay. Uh, then we're going to come back. That was Wee Woo. Get down to the cloud kill. You can finish your movement where you want, Wee Woo. And then next round, 111. Ryland, what do you want to do? The cloud kill. Luckily, it's billowing there, but not moving away. So it's just staying there. Oh, shit. We probably need to get out of this room. Uh, we came north and it fact, just seemed to be a total dead end. <laughs> in fact, this is a um, probably round, so you can all move if you like. And Ryland, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to go take a drink from that uh, Double move magic in? water. Double moving? Yeah. Okay, Lauren, what are you doing? Same thing. Double moving. We woo. Uh, I follow the light. Double moving. Uh, okay. Yeah, Next round, we you... got a wandering monster check. I don't know where I'm You're, you're uh, good. Oh, no, so oh no, this um Of course uh, it's uh, not Okay. Death by wandering monsters. <laughs> Love the mental image of Wee Woo just going head first into the wall and then sudden death cloud. Right. <laughs> Alright. Um and, he, and and before he does that he shouts, This is just like my vision. <laughs> <laughs> like you dreamed of crapping yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um what? Six six out of the darkness of the room behind you, we will, you've, the hair at the back of your neck stands up. You can see just at the edge of the party's light, um, something like a cannonball-sized 
sphere of blackness <laughs> coming toward you inexorably and everyone roll initiative Let's see we're around 112 crawling i mean everyone roll initiative <laughs> the sphere goes after ryland it looks like okay ryland you go first okay i am going to i can't be a coward every time i load my crossbow as my move yeah, I think it's a move to do so, and then I'm going to take a shot. It's at the edge of my vision. Yeah, so. you can see this thing. It is a uh, living sphere of annihilation, a cannibal-sized sphere of pure darkness, dripping with inky black tendrils, guided by an unknowable malign intelligence. Creatures who come into contact with the sphere are reduced to dust in an instant. Or so you say. <laughs> Rylan, oh, you miss well, it. I miss. Your shaky hands betray you. Uh, you can move your speed. Uh, the sphere goes. It's going to close up on Wiiwoo, and... I don't, think I, I don't think I can move my speed. I think it moves through him. Oh, if you had to reload. <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're reloading to shoot, or loading to shoot. Um, doing 23 yeah. necrotic damage, and destroying Wiiwoo for the fourth death. Wiiwoo, no! Oh, yeah. uh, a 16? Um, I think I think my AC is higher than that now. Um, oh, because you, you took the beats. beats. I have one of the beads, yeah. Ah, the bead saved you. Sorry about that, Wee Woo. Let me cross off that death. We will live. You can take off the red X. You dodge just in time, protected by the siren song, Turquoise Beads. Sphere's done, Alora, in your turn. Oh, uh, let me see. There's something else happens here for the sphere. In the sphere's turn. A one in six chance it blinks out, and it blinks out. Oh! <laughs> We're out of combat rounds. Okay. Back to uh, 112 oh, 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 of the crawling, and in the order you guys want, Rylan's in front, so we'll have Rylan go first. Oh, you can all move. Uh, Rylan, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to go get as close to that fountain as I can. Moving. All right, I'm Rylan's moving. Next turn, probably have a drink. Oh, Lauren. Uh, same thing. Move in. We will. Uh, I'm following my compa next companions. Uh, Rylan. Uh, bottoms up, and I take a swig. Take a swig. Okay, so <laughs> you get back. Let's see. Uh, Fountain. I'm Drink for the fountain. You get all your hit points back. You regain all your spells. Right. If you have any, and you get a luck token. So this luck token, this three leaf icon will be a luck token. That's a reroll that you can use. And then Olorin. Right. What are you doing, Olorin? I am taking a swig. Same thing. Okay. You can put a luck token on your guy, get all your hit points back, and your spells back. And then Ryland, Sweet. your turn. I mean, we will your turn. All right. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing because even though I don't really think I need it now, I don't want to have to run ha back here by myself later. So I'll drink. Very good. All your hit points back and a luck token. And okay. then... Everyone take a crawling turn to move where you ever want. Ryland. Uh, guys, uh, is that room a bit of a bust? Should we just head down to the main entrance? I think um, uh, There might be... Yeah, it's probably the garbage. Yeah, let's go back. All right. All right, so making our way to the main entrance. Oh, what about the mud room? We never really uh, fully investigated any of the statues. You know, That's true. That's true. I mean, while we're here, we can do a cursory look. Looks like you all moved that round. Take another round. Yeah. Probably all moving again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. And then you'll be next to something the next round, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but just like last time, there's a chance of a random encounter. Uh, let's see if you get anything. Fingers crossed. Random now. encounter. Oh. A one again. Uh, oh no. Uh, uh da, 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 da. Yeah, oh. this room's cursed. Something happens, oh. but you don't know what it is. Oh, perfect. I'm fine I'll, with that. Yeah. I'm fine with this. I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Rylan. I'm going to, you know what? I, I tried this one last time and didn't get very far. Is You, were, you were digging through the Statue to the South, and you can finish that digging and find out what's yeah, in it without, what without a random encounter check. That's what I'll do. Okay. Inside that statue, you find a ring, um, right where the heart should be. And we're going to decide what that ring does. Somewhat random. Uh, let's see, area four, description area four. And your ring's utility benefit. Okay, your ring you find, Rylan, is going to do sense secret doors when they're within close range. Wow, nice ring to have. Nice. You want to put that on, Perfect. Rylan? Absolutely. What was the range you said? Uh, close. close. So um, five feet. Close range. Yeah, yeah. I'm just marking that off on the. Um, I'm going to have to leave something behind, though, because I'm assuming I'm carrying that yeah. uh, soul catching skull, right? Correct. Yeah, everything so you I keep, will you leave. To. I'll leave my spare dagger. I'm just going to like drive it into the statue. Very good. Okay, that was Rylan. Oh, Lauren, your turn. Uh, are there any other soft looking statues? They all are. They're all, all the stars are soft looking statues. All right, then I'm just going to shift over here and reach my hand and. Okay, it'll take a <laughs> random encounter check if you are just uh, digging through it. Do we think it's worth it, friends? I, I think so, because I'm going to do the same thing, and hopefully, since All we're right. doing it at the same time, we get one check. 
Okay. Uh, okay. It's unfortunately a random encounter check per thing you dig, regardless if you're oh. doing it at the same time. Nothing for you, uh, Oloran. And you find a ring within yours, and the ring that yours does is a stat. Uh, okay. Well, in this roll, D6, see which stat it is. One of your stats becomes an 18 while you're wearing the ring. D6 roll, it's the second one, strength dex. Your dex is 18 while you got the ring on. Oh, Ooh. nice. You want to put that ring on? Yes, I'm putting that ring. 18 dex. Okay. Incredible. Uh, then, do what we want. Oh. And we uh, yeah, Ribu is going to break out of the crowbar and reveal his barbarian nature by just smashing the statue. Smashing the, the statue. Okay, right. I'm going to check for you. Uh, two. Uh, ghostly monkey. Remember, the door was crushed that uh, was to this room. And ghostly yeah. monkeys sneak into the room behind you. Um, and they're going to try and steal the treasure from you. Uh, it's going to be randomly from one of the three of you. So six is going to be actually from Ryland. Ryland. They're going to try and steal one of your treasures, make a DC 12 strength check to resist them. Strength? Oh, no. Ah, you do. Well, uh, the monkey pulls, and, monkey pulls and tugs and then, you know, uh, eek, 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 and runs out of the room. Gone. That was your random encounter. And we, we which one were you smashing? Um, what, Was the one I'm next to been smashed already? Yeah, Ryland did that one. All right, then I will uh, do this one to the... Here. That one there? Okay. You see nothing inside that one. Oh! <gasps> Oh, well, I wonder if it's just the ones that are in the alcoves. I, just, I think it's alcoves. Shit. Uh, that one's smashed. This one's smashed. This one. And that was that one. And Rylan, what do you want to do? Well, I'm here. I might as well go for this one, too. Smashing that one. All right. Random encounter check for that. Kind. Counter yeah. is a oh. one. Uh, let's see. The siren song swells in the temple. <laughs> The rolling Gorgon Juggernaut has cracked. The, the who and the what now? <laughs> the, the rolling <laughs> Gorgon Juggernaut cracked. That was that random gunner. Um, and nothing in know. that. I'm going to take, take that as a good sign. And nothing yeah. inside that, Rylan. Well, Lauren, what do you want to do? Okay. Uh, do we want to keep going or do we feel like we're pressing our luck? I, 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 I say here. we should keep going because we're being, we, we want treasure. And th this room has proven uh, fruitful. All right. Uh, so I'm, I think we should. I'm going to go right here and reach my hand in. All right. And I'm going to check for that. Uh, we got a three, nothing, and nothing inside that one. Got it. And the next go is Wee Woo. I'm going to crowbar smash the, this one. All right. Uh, right. I'm going to check on that one. A uh, one. Yeah. It's a one. Ooh. Okay. Morgan Slink around, over. slinking around the corner are five double masked huntresses. <laughs> oh, we did press our luck. But these are people. They are people. And um, let's see. We are at the very end. That was we were doing that. So the very end around that. So it'll be a one one eight when we get back to crawling. Everyone roll initiative, please. This is what you see. Devil masked huntress. Huntress that stalks the jungle in search of sacrifices to the great green devil. They do not speak, but instead only grunt, growl, and whistle to their sisters in the vines. And I rolled their initiative in years. And the first one to go is Rylan. All right. Um, I'm going to kind of walk towards them and slick back my hair, and I'm going to try and schmooze them, and I will, uh, greet them, introduce myself, and, uh, say, uh, myself and my comrades have gotten lost. Maybe you find, um, I kind of, like, look up and down, the women could, um, help us. Make a charisma find check. Our... Absolutely. You think you're being as deft as you possibly or as handsome as you possibly could and maybe you've um persuaded them but that is shattered that hope is shattered as soon as one of them lunges forward to stab you <laughs> the next one to go comes forward you should tries to hit you with their spear them about the other party misses you though you do definitely dodge out of the way and then the next huntress goes she steps forward to attack you she will attack uh you with her club trying to smash you over the head you dodge out of the way of that one the next huntress goes She's going to gra uh, try and grab you and hit you with her club. 17 for three bludgeoning. Okay. Um, Oops. I didn't. There we go. All right. And then we will your turn. Again, they're not making any sounds. They didn't reply to you in any verbalization, Ryland, other than uh, grunts and growls and whistles. They, they seem like barbarians to me, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to uh, speak in barbarian tongue, which is basically uh, uh, grunts and growls back that my tribe had spoken. Um, and... The language of barbarians involves uh, arrows, so I'm going to shoot an arrow um, at this one. <laughs> nice. 
<laughs> oh, that's a hit by a mile, and you kill that one. She drops to the ground, blood spilling out. And then I make a gesture for them to flee, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm done. The next huntress whips around the corner, tries to smash Rylan with her club. Eleven's a miss. Then the last of the huntresses comes to here and hurls a spear back at Wee Woo. You'll have all the cover in the world, so this is disadvantage, Wee Woo. Uh, only a five to hit you. The spear clatters against the statue beside you. And then Olorian, your turn. Yeah, I'm going to move here, and then I am going to shout out in diabolic, How dare you assault servants of the great devil! And I'm going to lash out with my staff. Nice. Uh, Twelve does not hit. They're a little. They're too quick for that to hit them. Or they're yeah. Um, Got it. Looks like armor class thirteen is what you're going for. That Got man's it. over. Ryland, your turn. Um, I'm gonna say, uh, ladies, ladies, we we can talk this out. We can get along. I'm just gonna stab that one right in front of me. That's a hit. You finish her. Uh, then the next huntress goes. The one to your north or southeast tries to smash you with the club. Ryland, missing you. And then we will your turn. Um, I'm going to shoot a longbow at the closest one. Okay. 13 armor classes, which need. Ooh, just misses. And then Huntress trying to smash her island with a club. Missing. And then last Huntress... Who had already thrown her spear, so she steps forward with her club and hit Ryland. And 14 Miss. just misses. And then Olor in your turn. Uh, same thing, but shouting out in diabolic flee or hell's fires will be upon you. She dodges that one. Ryland, your turn. Um, I'm just going to give the one right in front field stab Rooney. Oh, no. That's a hit for three points damage. She survives that stab. And then they go. The one to your southeast tries to hit their club. Missing. And then Wee Woo. Okay. Uh, I'm going to. Keep shooting at that one, and here we go. Ooh, 10 misses Darn again, it. then two more Huntresses are going to smash on... One's going to smash on Aloran with her club. Uh, 14, Aloran? Uh, 14 will miss because of the... Or just hits. Just hits, okay. Sorry. Three bludgeoning, and then 17 to Ryland for four bludgeoning, and then Aloran. Oh, no. Uh, same thing, whack and shouting curses and diabolic. Hit 16. for three, wounding her, and then Ryland. Um, how dare you? Stab. Stab killed her, um... Which one? The south one? Killed her? Yeah. And then Huntresses had a morale check. Ooh, but they stay. They're fearless. Uh, try and smash around with the club. Uh, miss. And then nope. Wee Woo, your turn. All right. I try to finish one off. Wee Woo kills another. Yeah. One left, Aloran. Uh, do we want to try to take one alive? Nope. I'm gonna They're not move, treasure. <laughs> I'm going to move down here, and I'm going to say in Diabolic, the hell's offered you mercy and whack. Uh, missing. And then Ryland, your turn. Uh, I'm going to just move, 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 stab. Oh, with a fatal last stab, you kill the last of the double masked huntresses. And then we'll go back into crawling. And we were around 118, crawling. We would have just smashed a statue. Uh, you see no treasure on, no obvious treasure on the huntresses. Um, Ryland, what do you want to do? Um, I'm going to say these statues seem to be more trouble than they're worth. Let us head down to the main entrance. I concur with that. All right, All everyone right. can move at the same time if you like. Ryland's just moving. Wee woo. Yeah, I'm going to just keep moving. Just move. Well, Lauren's just moving. Next round, you all move again. Ryland? Same thing, yeah. All right, Ryland. Uh, when you get to here, stop. Move oh. back you guys up a little bit. Oh. Yep. You note that uh, one of these statues is now alive. <laughs> uh, well, is it the one I took the things from? Uh, it is one of the ones you took the things from. Alive and guarding the entrance to the temple. You could, you believe, get through, um, but you're risking an attack from that thing. Or, of course, you could just fight it straight up. The attack from that thing is going to be um, statue. Okay. Sprinting past will require you to make a DC 15 dex check. If you fail, you'll provoke three attacks from the thing. Ooh, I'll risk it. I'm dexterous. Okay. Make I'm that. going to take a step back and then do a little running dive. Yeah, dive. Dex check. Uh -huh. Dex check with a luck token. <laughs> Burn that bad boy. Why can I not click it off? That's fine. It can, oh god, I'm not dead. Uh, secondary check. There you go. Nice, yeah. No problem. Diving through, and I... Not letting me turn off that. There it is. Okay, perfect. All right. You dive through safely? Um, I, the other two, did you have enough movement to get past it, or are you going to do that your next crawling round? Uh, I... Oh, them or me, sorry. Them, them, yeah. Okay. Okay. I, 
I have enough, I think. You have enough? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we would, yep. Did you have enough? Um, t f From moving to this point, left over? From, yeah, left over to get past it. Oh, Otherwise, you just um, do it next round. No, I don't, but I think I'm going to use my um, invisibility ability. Oh, nice. Okay. And um, yeah. then just sneak sneak past the following round, I guess. Okay. Well, Lauren, you got a DC 15 dex check to yep, rush by it. As I make it, I'm just going to be shouting, Oh, how awesome is the green devil him diabolic and you? <laughs> Do you want to reroll that or take the three attacks? Yeah, I'm using a luck token. Okay. Oh, you're taking oh, three attacks. Here they come. Uh, Slam uh, one. Uh, 19 for three. Slam two. It? 16 for 12 kills Oloran. Yep. <laughs> and then uh, we will, you'll get by on this turn. That was actually the next turn. Okay, so uh, last turn, <laughs> Oloran tried to go by. Didn't make it. Wee Woo actually turned invisible, and then now we're doing this next round. Rylan, you're already past it, and what you can see is uh, Main Temple... Oh, and I need to note another death before now. Yep. Main Temple doors polished. Limestone doors clutched by vines are pushed open slightly. You can hear something massive grinding as it moves uh, beyond the doors. It's... Um, I wonder if it's a Gorgon boulder or whatever. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. It is. It is pretty loud, but getting less loud, like it's moving away. I like it. So we. Uh, so this is everyone's going to take their crawling turn. Um, but Lauren will have you move when you finally get to you. We will. You can move past the statue now. You're now invisible for this round. Three rounds. Right. Uh, Ryland. Uh, I'm going to keep along the wall one because okay. I know if I am near a secret door, it'll open up. Or I thought oh, it'll yeah, open nice. up a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm just going to get to the door and try and like poke my head around and like eyeball down. Clearly, I can see what I can see, which is not much, but. Right. Yeah, you can see down. Um, okay, so you can hear that sound moving away in the darkness. Um, so you think you could safely move forward as far as you want. Okay, then, I, okay, then I'll double move, I guess. Okay. Unless, unless looking was an action. No, no, you just went and looked. So okay. you're able to kind of catch up. Let's see. Yeah, you can't quite see it with a double move. And it, of course, it moves at the same time you're moving. So it's uh, further down the hall now. And then we, we, you got past it invisible. You can, of course, double yeah. move. You want to double move. And then Oloran, at the start of your turn, you can either appear here next to Rylan or here next to Wee I will go next well, to Ryland. I'll be there. All right. So, so that's where you start yep. your turn, oh, Lauren. What do you want to do after? That? Um, for, by drinking from the well, we got spells back. Along you did. With the All your spells are back. Yep. I'm gonna try mage armor. All right. Go for it. No. <laughs> No mage, all right no mage armor I'm for just, you today i'm just gonna be pouting here next to rylan <laughs> all right i missed a random encounter check so let's go and do that one real quick Random encounter uh did it good it was nothing um now round 121 rylan everyone can move of course the thing's still moving away rylan quite distant Three, now seems to move very fast four. okay you can see uh something now as soon as your light gets to right. this part of the hall, two things come into view. To the north is a four-armed carnivorous ape statue kneeling and supporting a basin on its back. The basin is filled with petrified heads of sacrifices to the great green devil. To the south is an ebon disc set into the south wall, 10 feet in diameter, solid, absorbing light. However, it's slightly transparent. Parent, very slightly. Uh, there's a corridor dimly visible beyond it. Hmm. Someone had a vision about this. You can uh, need to move as far as you want, Rylan. Uh, um, I don't know where I want to go. How tall is the statue? Is it like person the, uh, size or is it like... The, the basin with the heads in it is about chest height to a human. Um, You know what? Screw it. I'm going to look through it. Right. You just move this turn, so you're done. You can uh, remember okay. your searching takes the whole round. So we will read it. Uh... I'm going to see this statue with my own eyes. Uh, that's 30 feet there. Uh, I guess I can't do anything with that. What's what's this to the south again? I'm sorry. Ebon disc set in the south wall. Yep. Oh, another disc. Yep. Maybe this is the one. Um, I'm going to come down and examine it first. Uh, that And examine it next round because I just... You, move, you moved? Okay. Oh, Lauren, your turn. Moving to Lauren? Yep. I'm going to finish my move right here. I'm going to pop a detect magic. Okay. Good luck. God damn it. Oh, <laughs> it's not oh your my day. God. <laughs> oh, it's well, terrible. After a Lauren. Uh, okay, out. Rylan, you're searching. So, uh, the sound of the thing moving has stopped, and now it seems to be getting closer to you. You know that searching the basin uh, will take long enough that that thing will be upon you if you don't make a successful. DC 15 dex or wisdom check to find the treasure and get out of there. Um, so if you fail that check, 
whatever that thing rolling sound is, is going to be on you. If you succeed, you'll find whatever's there, and you can duck, hopefully, back behind the doors I, or somewhere else. I have faith in you. I have so much faith. Do I feel like I could hide behind the statue base and thingy? Or is it too too small? Uh, you don't know what you're about to face. Um, you can definitely get back behind or underneath the statue and stuff. You don't know if that'll save you I'm or thinking, not. No, I'm thinking, like, if it was something humanoid with standard eyes mm-hmm. and senses, like, can do you I hide? feel like yeah. I could hide from Yes, me? absolutely. Then I'm going to do that. I'm just going to hide behind it for now. Okay. Not searching? Okay. Not searching. I'm going to let it do its thing and then so, hope it doesn't uh, next, me. Next to go is going to be... Right, that's Rylan. Next to go would be Wiwoo. You guys need to find an exit or go back out or else this thing will be upon you this round. So Wiwoo, what do you want to do? Um, oh, it's going to be upon us this round? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Well, I'm going to dive through the... Um, the, the, the disc then. Okay. You shatter the ebon disc and another cloud kill appears. Oh, darn it! Every time! <laughs> this here. All I hope is I'm out of the range. You are out time. of it this time. This cloud, skills, yes. cloud kill spills in both directions. Um, uh, open that so you can move through it now. And, okay. So, Wee Woo, you jump, try to jump through it, shatter the thing. Uh, we'll continue with your, t- your turn. You're going to take 2d6 damage. Okay. Mm-hmm. 10 damage. I, I lost my token. Yeah. <laughs> and then tell me north, south, east, west, which direction you want to head? Um, well, did I bounce off of a, 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 a solid wall? Something or did I shattered go and you actually moved forward five feet, you think? All right. I'm going to keep going. North, south, east, or west? South. Uh, still in the cloud. North, south, east, or west? Keep going. Still in the cloud. Keep going. You're out. Your With vision no light. Again. Uh, oh, yeah. You can't see. I'm going to keep your vision off because right. light doesn't even go through the cloud. Kill. So it's all dark, but the choking got better. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to fumble for a torch next round and light it. All right. That's we will. Oh, Lauren, your turn. You're in cloud kill. You're going to take 2d6 damage. I, and I shout, mm-hmm. there's a passage over here. You can hear that, oh, Lauren, from the south, uh, south, southeast. You hear there's a passage over here. Yep. I'm going to go in that direction. Okay. Double moving if need be. Uh, where, which direction from where you're at now? South. South. Okay. Now, which direction? South. You hit a wall. Now, which direction? South. You hit a wall when you went south again. You want to go oh, south again? Uh, I want to go east. It's three squares of movement now. Is there south? Four squares of movement. <laughs> south. Five squares of movement. South. Six squares of movement. Still in the cloud kill. All right. Double moving then south. You're out. Woo! And I'll turn your light back on. And I have light now. Yeah. Now you can see. And that's the end of that crawling around. So you guys have a cloud kill to your north. Uh, your friend, you saw him yeah. duck underneath the statue of the ape with the basin on its back. You heard the rolling thing approaching. And everyone roll in it. Stay where you had it, Lauren. Everyone roll initiative for me, please. Oh, Tom, can you turn my vision back on, please? Yeah. So vision back on. Thank you. To the west, you can see just the edge of, and you can kind of feel the humidity from a room with a pool in it. Uh, the pool, actually, the edge of the water is like right there. So you can just oh, see the edge of the water. Um, so... Uh, okay, Rylan. So you hear that thing coming basically past you, rolling past you, and yeah. it uh, doesn't it actually made a high check, please. Do, 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 do. As yeah. a rogue, you get advantage. That's a 14. It's wisdom check. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. The rolling juggernaut. Boom, boom. Stops <laughs> in the cloud kill. Gorgon <laughs> idol on stone rollers that thunders down the main corner of the temple. Bloody dust billows in its calamitous wake. Milky gas jets from its nostrils when tomb robbers draw near. And it spotted a tomb oh. robber. So it'll come to there. multi attack in oh is going to um, <laughs> crush you. It's enormous. <laughs> Uh, but you die, nope. you hide amidst the uh, statue, and then it does its breath, which is a reverse stoning breath. So all those petrified heads that were in the basin now are not petrified anymore. Uh, uh. <laughs> and... When that happens, the severed heads to petrify all scream in terror and agony. The danger level in the temple has increased one step, so now every three rounds, you'll have wandering monster checks. Oh. Um, all scream in terror and agony, increasing the danger level one step. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, and that is that. Juggernaut's done. The poison gas doesn't seem to affect it, unfortunately, Ryland. Um, and then Ryland, your turn. Yeah, it's turn. Uh, I don't have a strategy for this, guys. Um, Come over here. Right. Come over here. Ow. All right. I am going to take a deep breath <laughs> and try and sprint Run through, through the, uh, the cloud kill. All right. Yeah, nice. Yeah. 
Uh, you will take 2d6 damage. On the oh, turn. God. Why? Hopefully you live. Hopefully you live. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you guys hear a thump on the ground, and then next round you'll live here with you. <laughs> but one more death. Death number yep. five. Uh, so your hit points go back up to full, Rylan. Um, yeah. And then you, that thing resumes its patrolling. You guys hear it rolling back and forth out there. I hope they're doing as badly as we are. <laughs> they, haven't, uh, they, haven't, they haven't done anything to you guys in a while, so that's good news. Right. Yeah, right. So the cloud kills billowing there. You can go east or west. You see a small pool of water. You think you see the edge of a pool of water to the west. Let's go to the water. Oh, yeah. and we were at, uh, shoot, we were at 122.2, and now it's going to be every three rounds. So it was going to be 124 for the next check. So 124 will be the first check that's from that. Um, yeah, everyone can move where you want to move to, and I'll describe right. what you see when you get there. Go right. west. Rylan, you're just moving. You want to stop uh, two squares back, Wee Woo, or else you're in the water. But you can go in the water if you want. Oh, um, I'll stop here. Yeah, that, that grays the water. Okay, so this is what you see here in this chamber. The bath is dark and oily and sweet-smelling water. The mosaic tiles depict great green devil glittering in the pillars. Vines flower with emerald and violet blooms and cover pillars and walls. Um, and rising up out of the water is a oh. siren. A siren emerges singing from the water. If Use your charm. Uh, be careful. If two, wow. if two or more of you succumb to her, her allure, the song will grow so loud that it will shatter all ebon discs in the temple and shatter the juggernaut rolling through the central corridor. The save DC, before don't roll yet, is nine, unless you're wearing turquoise jewelry pieces, and then it increases by three per piece you're wearing. So, oh, Lauren, you got the circlet on, right? So you'd be a 12, for example. Uh, Rylan, you I got beads and bracelets, so you'd be a 15. My circlet got stolen by a monkey. Oh, there you yeah. go. Good job. Yeah, nothing. Then you're just a nine. Rylan looks like he's a 15, and Wee Woo looks like he's a 12. So, wisdom check DC 9, 12, or 15. Right now? Oh, no. Yep, right now. Oh, oh, wisdom's no. not my good one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Lauren fails. Rylan fails. Wee Woo fails. <laughs> Man, All right. We, uh, we, we will, you want to reroll? Yeah, I'll reroll. Okay. I mean, take off your luck and reroll. And you made it, didn't you? You only had one. So you made it. You needed I 12 know. and you made it. Yeah. Okay. Well, you observe Wee Woo, Rylan and Oloran, uh, both strip naked and leap into the bath to dwell forever with the siren. So that counts as two deaths. Then you both will reappear. I can't tackle them. <laughs> nope. There's no saving them. Um, you ain't getting between me and a siren. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Then the siren offers to uh, Wee Woo and his two new companions to teach you an occult dance. But she says, you know, and she's got her friend, her naked friends with her. She says, um, it's fit only for those who crave the passionate thrill of life and death. Would one of you want right, to that's, learn? That's me, 100%. That's right. my model. She takes out a deck. Uh, looks like a tarot deck. And she says you must first draw from the card. It's very, very risky, though. Uh, if you want to draw, roll a D22 slash R space D22. Uh, risk is my little middle name. <laughs> Lucky Ooh, number 13. You drew, yeah. uh, you drew the lover's card. She smiles and laughs. She, she teaches you the dance of the Venom Princess. So you all know the dance of the Venom Princess. And then she will retreat to Frolic with her newfound friends. And we'll go back to Crawling Rounds. And this is round 122. Uh, Rylan, what do you want to do? You can all move if you like. Do, do we know what this dance does? No, you don't. Is it just... It's very alluring, but you don't know what it does. Maybe if I we encounter that. more huntresses, we can um, use oh, that on them. Perfect. Um, do we want to go into the room? I don't really want to go into the room. Um, no. I kind of do, but I don't have a torch lit. Um, you know what? I'm gonna t I'm gonna light my torch. Okay. Really click the and, key button. And uh, I'm gonna do. She likes me now. I that that's the impression I have. I'm regardless if it's true or not. Um, and I'm gonna walk around. Okay. It's water, so it'll be at, like up to your head. Oh, okay. I hold my torch up above the water, obviously. Yep. Yep. So everyone can move. Uh, everyone can move. Uh, Ryland, what are you doing? I'm going to do a double move. You're moving this that way. way. Don't just moving. Wee Woo, you're just moving. And Oloran. Uh, following after Ryland. Just moving. Okay. Uh, that round's over. Next crawling round. Everyone can take a turn. Uh, is this 24? You owe us a check. Mm, 24, I will. Next time, I will. Uh, everyone finish your move where you want. Uh, I'm going to ask her, does well, she have any, any treasure she wants to give us? Uh, I don't. Stop okay. Watching. All right. Then I'm going to... Um, I, I saw the end of the water area i'm going to double move back to here i'm done and of course two or more of you succumbed to her song and so it grew so loud that it shattered all ebon discs in the temple so that cloud kills there but they don't roll away so that's good and the juggernaut the rolling jugger. through the central corridor is also shattered and oh. when that happens good stuff yeah treasure p 
Kenyatta. When that happens... Go get the shrieking skulls and throw them in the bath. <laughs> New friends. The dancing Kopesh of extinction has risen from the rubble of the Gorgon Juggernaut. <laughs> oh no. Uh, and let me double check something there. Rest in peace to all elves in the Shadow Dark World. Okay, there you go. Okay, so she has no treasure to give you. We will. You guys came to that corner there, that thing there. Okay, everyone take another turn. So you just see doors ahead of you, Rylan and I, Lorian. I do. And I'm feeling bold. Boop. Oh, God. <laughs> we will go ahead and take your movement. All right, I'll move my uh, 30, uh, 60 feet. 60 There's feet. 30, 30. And then, Rylan, you open the door to this chamber here, and you see... Follow. Um, the far end of the chamber, almost just visible at the edge of your torchlight. You don't see it on the map when you're with your torchlight, but there's a great, giant, empty throne. Empty except for a crown and a scepter made uh, that are sitting on its uh, seat. It's made from limestone and the amalgam of bone. There's a bloodstone skull set into the head of the throne. There is an ebon disc set into the... Oh, shoot. So you don't even see any of this because all this is covered by cloud kill. <laughs> um, so the cloud kill killed several of these huntresses yeah. when it emerged. And now the rest of them are kneeling on the ground facing the cloud kill. When you look into the room, Ryland, they pay you no mind. Uh, well, Lorian, what were you doing? I was coming up to coming up to join Rylan and looking in and seeing all that. Okay, and then Wee Woo, you feel the hairs of the back of your neck stand up, and emerging behind you, trailing cloud kill vapor, is the Kopesh of extinction, having come from the rubble of the Juggernaut through the cloud kill, and now in pursuit of Wee Woo. Everyone roll initiative. Need three when you come back. Uh, I rolled a zero, but because of my uh, ring, I have a plus four to dex. So I have four. I'd be plus two. Oh, no, it's eighteen. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. And actually, your dex is normally minus one, so you're plus four. Yeah. You should actually be five. Okay. Ooh, the Kopesh rolled though. Nice. All right. Um, we will. You can freely warn Rylan and yeah, Lauren uh, that you're in for being pursued by the Kopesh of Extinction. Uh, this Kopesh, Kopesh of Extinction. Let me describe this thing for you. Um, curved blade of unimaginable malice gifted to the great green devil by a pharaoh queen wielded by an invisible huntress with a lethal flourish nice I want it Ryland you go first uh okay so this Kopesh is coming and there's a whole bunch of huntresses in front of me I uh look at Alora and say fortune favors the bold and I'm going to dash into here and Give her a quick stab in the back, because one counter wasn't enough. <clears throat> wow, look at that. 25, you kill her. Ooh. Boom, down she goes. And then, yeah, let me uh, roll some initiative for these guys. <laughs> I was just going to say, don't add more to the encounter. Hey, hey, the other team did three. We got this. Precisely my thoughts. What happens if we all die? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Fun. We, we spawn in the loot chamber. <laughs> <laughs> That was the key to winning. <laughs> Just all die at once. Okay, I uh, got them out of the initiative. Rylan, anything else on your turn? Uh, no, unless you're feeling generous, want to give me a second attack. <laughs> nope. Okay. After Rylan comes, the huntresses. Um, the one right by you, Rylan, turns and clubs you, missing. Then no, this one moves to there and clubs you. Uh, missing. Then this one moves to there and clubs you. Sixteen misses by one now, right? Just uh, no. I have a I have a sixteen. AC. Okay, two bludgeoning and one more comes to there misses and then uh the next one will be huntress b but we are at the halfway mark so we're gonna take a 15 minute break till um five after the hour okay perfect got it and it'll be the huntress b's turn when we return break time seems guys to be the only way to go right 15, port call us. 15 minute yeah. break uh we're at the halfway mark uh, eclipse has reached its peak and we'll come back at five after the hour to restart i am back <clears throat> as am i Welcome back, everyone. We're going to be playing from 5 after the hour to 35 after the next hour. Got Perfect. 11.35 Central Daylight. I got it. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we really haven't found a whole lot of treasure. I get, uh, the two rings, I think, are pretty uh, great. And we got skull. the bead, the skull. <laughs> I don't think it's a complete bust, but um, I, I think the deaths will outweigh the treasure. Okay, here we go. Round two. So the, the eclipse has reached its peak the veil between the land of the living and the realm of the dead is thinnest. Point penalty is doubled for slaying characters here and out. <laughs> uh, Speaking of death we, penalties. We've done all our dying already. All right. The Huntress's B's turn was coming up. 
They're going to go to there and club at leader, your fearless leader. Another club attack miss. Then one, two, three, four, five there. And then attack the fearless leader again. 16 missed. Oh, no. Does that hit? No. Nope. Okay. It's a ties. Oh, Lauren, your ties. turn. Oh. Hold on. Like does a tie it. go to the defender? For what? For your attacks? I have oh, 16 oh, AC. Tie? Oh, they hit. Yeah. Three damage then. Yeah. All right. Well, fortune favors the bold. I'm going to move in here and whack with my staff at the south. Okay. That's a miss. Uh, we got a tie initiative here. And this one's important. I bet we would want to go before the Kopesh of Extinction. So we will roll a d20 and try and roll high. You'll beat it. Oh, uh, Dex doesn't factor in. Does not. <laughs> okay. The Kopesh closes. Uh, every hit's a crit, if you recall, from the dust of the uh, the Marilith yeah. that was spread across the temple. So this first slash attack, it, well, it's a crit anyway. Uh, 33 points of damage to Weewoo. And <laughs> all, all right, well. halflings at both tables die. <laughs> I think the other table doesn't have any halflings. I'll double check. I'll be right back. Three. But, hey, real quick question for you guys. Any of the characters at this table a halfling? Uh oh, I know what that means. I think it's no. <laughs> no, we're not. No okay, halflings. So, no. Okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> All right, you can come back, and unlike the uh, first time the <laughs> Kopesh of Extinction is normally found. So that's one death. Um, and if there's any halflings at the other table, they're all dead too, by the way. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, the code pass is done. Wee Wee, you can start your turn adjacent to any ally. Okay, I can't yeah. see my allies, so yeah. I don't know. There okay. they are. Um, <laughs> wow, you guys really know how to pick a fight, don't you? <laughs> uh, Listen, I just couldn't leave them. I, uh, next to... All right, well then, uh, the only person I can be next to is uh, Aloran. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, and at the same time, uh, a ghost monkey runs by and drops at your guys' feet uh, the circlet that gives you plus two to intelligence. So it's sitting on the ground where you all three can reach it. The square is south, or the square that Oloran is in. All right, well, um, I, I don't have room for it. And, and it's still my turn, or actually has my turn started even? Your turn starts when you appear, and you get to go. All right, then I will uh, take a step back and... Oh, geez, Louise. I'm going to shoot at uh, this Huntress. Okay. Uh, I really don't think this is the... We should have aggroed those, but here we go. Oh, nice. That killed it. Yeah. Uh, and then I will move over, I guess, over here, because I don't want to be near the cold patch. All okay. right, I'm done. All right. That round's <laughs> over. You can take the red X and set your hit points patch to 23. Ryland, okay. your turn. Uh, I'm going to attack that one. Yeah. That's a hit. Three points damage. I didn't see which ones. Give me a cardinal direction from you. Southeast. Okay. Three yeah. points to that one. And then we got some huntresses going. I have six huntresses left. So we got a morale check here on these guys. See if they stick around. That's a wisdom check. Ooh, no, they're breaking. Breaking going for it. Uh, so one. Breaking bad. Two, three, four, five, six. One opens a door. Uh oh. Two, three, four, five, okay. six. And then one, five, six, seven, and one. 12, 6, now the question becomes, does the Kopesh of Extinction recognize them as allies? That's my exact thoughts. Okay, they all ran for it, and then the bee okay. huntresses, and then the Kopesh is going to go. No, Aloran's going to go. Close the door. Oh my god, close the door. Yep, is it a free action to close the door? Free yes. interaction once per round, yes. Sorry. <laughs> there, we, there we go. <laughs> and uh, would it be a full action to pick up the circlet and put it on? The uh, monkey's drop. Yeah, you can use your action to put that on the circlet. So you got the circlet back on, Olorin. And Sweet. then you got your movement, you can move. Uh, then I will move. Oh, is that door two? <laughs> uh, that was it. Kobesh, you don't know what it's doing. Actually, yeah, you don't know what it's doing. Uh, we will your turn. Um, I'm going to uh, spike the door shut. Okay. Then you can move your and, speed after you do that. And, and then I'm going to move to here. We're in, uh, you can go to crawling rounds now. Um, and uh, I'm going to free action shut this door. Very good. Shut it. The huntresses are gone. Lee having fled the temple. Uh, Rylan, you still have that ring that helps you detect secret doors, right? I do. Uh, why don't you just do a quick walk around this, the edge of this room and see if anything pings? Absolutely. Okay, Rylan, Three. double move in. Nothing in your double Five, move lights up the seven, secret. Eight, ten, that's a dead end, unless I start, want to start walking through Into the... the cloud kill. <laughs> yeah, let's not see. Uh, oh, Lauren, your turn. Um, uh, Wee Woo, do we want to go through that door when we're done here? 
or I well, I didn't see any um, enemies that want to attack us that way, so we could. Okay, so yeah, I'll just get up here by Wee Woo and let Rylan rejoin us or check for more secret doors. And Wee Woo? Uh, I will open the door and then start heading north. So that's okay. 20 feet. So you see the hallway going to the east and to the northeast, and uh, you see all the tracks and stuff of the uh, Gorgon. No sign of the Gorgon. Yeah, the Gorgon's destroyed off to the west, presumably. Uh, so I will move to here. Uh, actually, I can move 10 more feet. All right, move see that. a fast way to the south. GM, uh, random counter check here. To, ooh, monkeys. Oh, damn six. monkeys. It's four, so it's the middle one. Oh, Lorian. <laughs> monkeys came back for the circlet or the no! ring. Uh, one through three, it's the ring. It's the circlet. Uh, DC 12 strength check to hold on to it, Oloran. My circlet. You do. You, you hold it. The monkey no. runs away. And let's see. Uh, Rylan, you hear um, something hacking at the door to the west. That would go push. <laughs> so <laughs> everyone take a crawling turn. Uh, Rylan, what are you doing? Uh, double move. And then Oloran moving. And then Wee Woo. Uh, Is it a free to close the door, Tom? Uh huh. Yep, one for your interaction. To this 15 one. feet. Uh, All right, looking down that direction, you see a cauldron down there. Um, an urn-shaped cauldron, large, stands in the center of the alcove, decorated with lamias dancing in the fire. There is a relief on the south wall depicting a lamia devouring bones. Oh, um, and, and I see parts of a statue up to the north. Yeah, yeah, similar statues you think you can just see through the, the twilight of the eclipse guarding the uh, exit. Oh, so that goes back out into the jungle. Okay, yeah, I'm going to move 15 more feet down here. Uh, I'm going to... You don't have to tell me, you're just moving, so just double move to where you want. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to end next to the cauldron. Nice. Uh, that's the end. Everyone move again. I'm going to move you up to the top since we're doing something. Wee woo. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to examine the cauldron. Okay. Let me let everyone else finish their move and where they want to go. There you go. That's my double move. That was 125. Six for the return. Everyone roll initiative. Finally. Out of the cauldron. The contents of the cauldron were kind of a greenish gray color. Uh, pretty, pretty viscous. And as you approach, it actually rises up and attacks as a gray ooze. It's initiative roll, a seven. So you all react first to this ooze coming out to attack Wee Woo. What do you want to do, Wee Woo? Uh, I'm going to back up to here and put an arrow into it. Okay. Oh, yeah, you connect with it. Uh, uh, your arrowhead like sizzles as it goes through it and hits the far wall, but doesn't um, get destroyed. And the damage you did to it, seven points, seems to have all hurt it, not quite stopping it. And then Alora in your turn. Yep, whacking with my quarter staff. Uh, 10 is a miss, uh, arm class 11, you look. Got it, and then moving back. Ryland, your turn. Uh, you know what, I never reloaded my crossbow, so I'm going to reload as a move and then shoot it. Nice. That is a hit. Two points damage. Finishes it. Thing Very is nice. destroyed. Let me just see if your crossbow bolt's destroyed as well. Corroding. Yep, that one is. Corrodes the head of your crossbow bolt. And now you look inside. Um, well, actually, we'll go back to crawling ones because you guys might have other things to want to examine. So back to 126 and back to Wee Woo. So now there's nothing in the cauldron to do. Do you still want to investigate? You haven't finished your investigation. Yeah, I'm going to continue to investigate um, uh, the, the cauldron and maybe the the boss relief or whatever that was. Yeah, so investigating the cauldron on your turn, you find uh, there's an invisible skeletal hand in the cauldron. Uh, and feeling along its fingers, it's got a ring of invisibility on it. Ooh. That's incredible. So, Very cool. Oops. Uh, that's... Ring of invisibility. Clear glass ring that gives off a faint trail of candle smoke. Once per game, you can make yourself invisible as the wizard spell. Nothing has oh. ever gone wrong with a halfling finding in an ring of invisibility. So I'm ne gonna put that up never. above too for you guys. Oops, that's not. And the, the rest of you can do your movement to where you wanted to end up. There's nothing to investigate where you were, so I assume you're just moving. And then, I'm just gonna uh, reload my crossbow now. Yep. Okay. I'm going to just give a thorough search over this uh, relief. Uh, so you move to the relief in that round. This round. Uh, we will. You can move somewhere. Ryland, you can move somewhere. Lauren, you're searching the relief. Um, ability. Did I assume the ring of invisibility you picked up? We will. Yeah, I dropped my uh, flint and steel. Uh, have the ring of invisibility instead. Okay. Then. So I'm just for my turn, Tom. I'm just taking a walk in the circuit around the the room just to see if okay. there's any invisible. Very good. Or secret. Um, here. And Tom, I didn't move my full movement, so I'm going to ready an action. If I see anything, I'm going to shoot it. Generally, we can't ready out of combat. 
the initiative. Oh, turn. Everything's sorry. Really down to yeah. Uh, Ring of Invisibility yeah, yeah. Uh, got that up above. And then you have, when you examine the um, relief. Oh, there's another thing that you determine, Wee Woo. Although you think it won't help you now. Um, you could take some of the wine from the Fountain of Hope and boil it here, make a healing drink from the fountain. Um, and doing so and drinking the boiled mixture would allow you to also ask me two, a two-word hint about what you might do next. Uh, but you have no drinks remaining, so unless somehow more drinks show up, can't do that. Um, but then at the mural, you find tattooed on your hand, on your right palm, O Lauren, the Ebon Eye, which is this tattoo. A black wadjet oh. eye inked into the mortal flesh by some unknown force. Once per day, touch the ebon disc to a scry on the opposing team. When you do so, you get to go and ask their GM, and you'll just go to the GM uh, voice channel, and I'll tell David to go there too. Um, three yes or no questions about what that team has seen or found in the temple so far, and David will answer you truthfully. Got it. Didn't we destroy all yeah, ebon discs? We, we destroyed all the ebon discs here. What evidence? What are you talking about? The siren destroyed all ebon discs. Correct. Yeah. So this ring doesn't do anything, or this tattoo doesn't do anything. No, it's an ebon eye. Oh, touch an ebon disc. Ah, right. Well, hopefully that'll, that'll be one you that gets reformed somewhere. Yep. I'm just gonna turn around and be like, "Cool tattoo." Yeah. <laughs> very good. Okay. Yeah, very. Uh, very that stylish. Was the end of that round. Uh, your walk around found nothing, Ryland. Um, okay. Let's see. Then we got a wandering monster check. I should have actually did last round. So let's do that. Counter. It's a three. Nothing. Next one will be Ooh, on one thirty. Uh. Da -da. Okay, when take a crawling around, move where you want to move to. Okay. If you're all moving, we won't make any checks. One, two, three, four. Okay, guys, we have a, a situation. Do we want to go outside and look for other entrances? Uh, or the there was an ebon disc that exploded in that last room with the Kopesh. There might be a passage behind it like that other ebon disc. But then we'd have to go through the Kopesh. So we probably should just go outside, I guess. Yeah. Why we don't we all... just con continue on where we're heading? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just right, so I'll, uh, so I uh, assume you all just did the move. Uh, here's I did a single. I'm going to double move. There you go. That's a double move. And I'm I'm essentially like running my hand along the wall. And yeah, you no have that way. ring now. Maybe we could yeah. go back to the area we were in to see if there's secret doors there. I don't know. I was going to say the Kopesh might be gone. Why? <laughs> I don't I don't know because did it was it something was something was chopping at the door behind us. Yeah. So it, probably coming after us oh right yes. <clears throat> when you approach the end of the uh entry there you discover that one of these statues is also animated <laughs> uh, this one here so to get out you'd have to make another check uh dex check dc 15 so uh we'll back to a crawling round oops it's one square yeah let me move we will back we will continue north on the next crawling round, you're gonna have to make a DC 50 dex check, take three attacks of opportunity, um, and unfortunately, oh Lauren, the Kopesh is in view behind. You. Oh, never mind, guys, it's still here. <laughs> I'm gonna hack through the other door in pursuit of you guys while you were searching the room to the south, and everyone roll normal initiative. Kopesh gets a. Uh, I normally have it. a minus one, but that I think that would be a six with my ring that set my dex, or that would be six plus four. So you rolled an eight on the die, you'd be a 12. 12, gotcha. Right. Sort the order here. Uh, Roland, you get the alert from Aloran that the Kopesh is behind you. Um, oh, what fresh hell is this? I'm going to run and dive past this uh, statue. All right, make your check. DC 15 dex. Oh, God. Maybe it won't hit me. Uh, slam. Wait, three for three. Oh, God. Slam. Crit for yep. 12. Finishes you. Blech. One dead. Uh, Aloran, your turn. Uh, yep, double move. and DC 15 dex check. Got it. That's going to be a uh, 12 I'll make plus it. 4. Yeah, so you can continue past the statue. And the Kopash with blinding speed uh, seems to accelerate as it comes closer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's a single move. Gets to there and slashes at Wiwoo. So fast. Oh. Wiwoo's killed. Oh, no. Decapitated by the Kopesh. Ah, uh, I hate that. Three deaths. And then Wiwoo's turn. You can appear next to any ally. You only got one well, alive. I think Aloran's a good ally yeah. to appear next to. And you get your whole turn from there. So you're standing outside uh, of the temple. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me describe the area here. Sentinel statues, two towering statues of women in wispy robes, peeling green paint, both depict with horns and striped headdresses, and of course, guarding the entrance one of them. I don't think we can outrun this Kopesh now. Um, so I, I, I'm just curious how much, how, how, uh, sturdy it is i'm gonna take a shot at it okay 
fire away. Ooh, uh, nice shot. That's a hit on it, uh, doing 10 points of piercing damage. Oh, okay, okay. We might be able to kill it, and then yeah. maybe we can wield it as a vorpal weapon? Finish it whatever <laughs> you want, Weewoo. And then Ryland, your turn. Start adjacent to either ally. Oop. May come as a surprise that I'm going to spawn there. I'll reset the health after. I'm just going to take a shot. So I reload my crossbow. Okay. See you in Hellcat. Oh. Ten is a miss. I'm it looks like it's met. looks like it's pretty hard to hit. Looks like it's armor class nineteen. Ooh. That was Ryland. Finish your move where you want, Ryland. Um, Valorian, you're yeah, I'm gonna I'm move along the wall. Going to double move. Double move in the co this turn. Six, seven, eight. Single move to get to there in pursuit oh God. of Ryland, slashing at Ryland. Sixteen, 16 hits. hits. It's an auto crit doing forty three points of damage, killing Ryland and killing uh. all humans. Uh oh, Lauren, you're an elf, right? I'm an elf, yeah. Ryland, you're a human, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. In other directions in the darkness. You see some pillars to the south. Hey, David, are hey, there any Thomas. humans in the party? Oh, I think there are. All humans fall dead due to the Kopesh of extinction. They do restart at the next turn, but count as, okay. all count as deaths. Okay, back to the fight. I, I, uh, okay, so the Kopesh killed you, and it's done, and then we will your turn. Uh, well, I started this mess. Let's see what I get this time. Yes, you yes. started it. That's a hit for nine points of damage. There we go. It's almost dead, guys. Um, and then I'll move away some more. <laughs> Rylan, you can start next to any ally. Yeah. You might want to be next to me. I don't know. Nope. Right. <laughs> What's your favorite the balls? <laughs> yeah. That's a hit. Nice. Three points of damage. Minus three. Uh, guys, I think I got... Oh, no. You're close. <laughs> Oh, Lauren, your turn. Uh, you guys got this. Gonna keep running. Double moving. Kopesh is gonna go swing at Rylan, slashing. Uh, uh -huh. Ten missed you. Then we will your turn. Uh, I'm gonna shoot at it. Shot from the halfling barbarian. Twenty three hit strikes down the Kopesh of extinction. Woo! Dead. Uh, and all Kopeshes now die. All Kopeshes <laughs> die. All Kopeshes across the multiverse shatter. Uh, did I did I count your death, Rylan? I have three deaths. Is that right? I can go back and look at the tape if I have to. But I believe three. Let me think about this. Three. We've each died to the Kopesh once, and I died to the stone statue once. So four. Four, yeah. Okay. I might have missed it. All right. That is it for that. We're going to be at round 129 in the crawling. Right. Uh, you guys going to regroup around wherever you want before you start your turn. You want to regroup around. Let's hey, Ryland, check out the remains of the Kopesh. Is it usable? Okay. I so you don't the Kopesh. Let's go with Ryan, Ryland yep. first. Uh, the Kopesh is not Sorry, we will no learn. You can move or, or do something. Uh, well, there's a, another passage. It kind of looks like maybe there, or is that just more of the outside? Of the and remember, if you move like you know four or five squares one direction, you have to count all those. If you move back, yes. Um, what are we what are we thinking here, friends? Uh, uh, if I walk along the wall, if there's a secret entrance, I'll find it. But like, I don't know if, if going up is the best course of action or going down is. Uh, well, let, let's we go up for now because we would have to dodge this uh, yeah, let's, we'll living thing. Up. Yeah, yep. I agreed. Sounds good. Then, yeah, we'll just be doing that. I'll move there. So, you get uh, Wee Woo and Lauren are just moving. You already did the search, uh, Rylan, that yeah. the whole round. Next round, start of the round. Random counter check. Uh, we get a five, which is nothing. You guys can all take another crawling turn. Assuming you're all just moving through the jungle. No yeah, secret doors. Along the wall. No I secret doors. The corner. No secret doors become apparent, Rylan. Tragedy. I'm going to be devastated if there aren't any in this this uh, module. That'd, that'd be fun. Then another round. Everyone take your movement. Three, I'm assuming searching. Six. There we go. Oh, okay. Then another oh, round. Everyone take your movement. Just, oh, this is the end of my last round. Okay, so uh, 30, 30. Oh. The the north wall you see there, we it was just the edge of the map. The jungle keeps going. All right. I mean, up here, way up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then my turn. Uh, to do a wandering monster check. Got a two monkeys come. Oh, those monkeys. D6. Uh, that's a four, so it's going to be Rylan. Rylan, you got beads, bracelet, and a ring of detecting secret doors in that order. It's the bracelet. And the skull. Oh, and the skull. But they don't steal the skull, it turns out. So, bracelet. Okay. Dex. DC 12. Strength check. Uh, strength. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. No, bracelet gone. That's your plus two dex, right? Yeah. No. I wasn't yeah. really using it anyways. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's points still. Oh, agreed. I'd rather yeah. not lose it, but it's not like it was giving a benefit. Mm. Right. All right. Uh, then everyone take a crawling round. Okay. Assuming you're all double moving. Yeah. Oh. Are we going to just wander all the way around this temple? <laughs> everyone take another crawling round? I think so. Seems to be. Oh, we're going to have to dodge a statue. 
one way or the other, I think. Then everyone take another crawling round, and it'll be random encounter check. It is a five, but oh. a random encounter. I think this is new. Yeah, this looks like a cave or something. Like a someone. Uh... Don't keep moving unless you have the movement. Yeah. I did. Oh, Don't move. Well, I did. Okay, there. nice. Okay, very good. Uh, now I'm gonna need you guys to make a. Well, that's really really bad. You are not surprised. So as a vampirus crawls down from a tree behind oh. you, uh, once oh, a handmaiden of the great green devil, this woman now drinks the blood of tomb robbers and beasts alike. The clicking of her tongue echoing through the jungle canopy is the last thing her prey hears. So Wee Woo, she uh, with her stealth check was a five. So you aren't snuck up on. As she claws, climbs her way down the tree uh, with her vicious claws extended. Everyone roll initiative for combat. It will be a 136 wound. Got it. That's going to 17. Yeah, 17 for me. You can uh, type in 17. 22 Oof. for the vampirus. She's fast. Quick one. Multi-attack. She gets to bite three times. Holy cow. Bite on Wee Woo. 17 hit. is a hit. Doing four piercing. Plus drains two con. <laughs> Uh, you're not surprised. I'm down to 12. And then she will uh, bite you again. 12's a miss, and then bite you a third time. 17's a hit for two more piercing, and two more con. She's oh done. Boy. Oh, Laura, in your turn. All right, well, that's definition of not good. I'm going to down here, and I'm going to attempt to hit with my staff. 14. Her armor class appears to be 15, unfortunately. So oh. that's bad one. And then Ryland, your turn. Okay, I'm going to just... Run up and give her the old stab Rooney. Yeah. 20 is a hit for two. Magic piercing. She dead. <laughs> and then we woo. Your turn. <laughs> she dead. Uh, I don't think okay. her. I'm going to back up move. and um, shoot. 25 hit her solid for 12 points damage. Nice. Nice hit. And then her turn. She will size up the two of you for who's got the best armor on. Uh, looks like the mage has got the I, worst armor on. Multi attack and bite on Oloran. Miss. Uh, yep. Bite again. <laughs> Um, you're now armor class, what? 14. 14. Okay, so hit for six piercing, four con, so two more hit points lost, probably, depending on what your con was. Um, she my. heals 11. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then last bite on a little missing. She's done a lore in your turn. Alrighty, well that was awful. I am going to go here, and I am going to cast Burning Hands. Alright, Burning Hands. You, anyway. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh my, my god. Lord. A mishap, no less. All right, let's yeah, do that's... the magic mishaps. Tier yeah, one, got... roll a d12 for me, please. Yep, coming right up. You guys Six. found the worst wizard in the world. You really did, guys. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what you were thinking hiring me. All right, uh, Alora, one random piece of your gear is going to disappear forever. You have 10 slots. Um, yeah. Let's assume the I first seven are what you have shown here, and then eight will be your ring of decks, and nine will be your circle. So right, roll a d10. So you want 10 coming right up. Re roll a 10. <laughs> roll. Oh, three. Oh, one, two, bad. three. Your flint and steel. Not bad at all. Yeah. All righty. Yeah, not bad. Okay, that was Alora. <laughs> Who, as far as your is concerned, is just a peasant. Because it's only tied with his staff so far. Not, he might not even be a wizard. No, <laughs> Ryland, your turn. <laughs> Sorry, whose turn, Ryland? Ryland, yep. Oh, damn. I uh, 17 hit. Garbage Two damage. more damage. And then next goes Wee Woo. Uh, I don't know. Should we? Can we? Well, she's pretty fast, huh? I don't think we can outrun her. All right, I shoot her. 24 hit. Who's good with that bow? I'm going to um, step over here. So that is a break in the wall. Uh, I should describe this for you before, but there's a breach here where tomb robbers have broken into the temple. All right, now her turn. She'll stay on Oloran. Multi tag with a yep. bite. 13 missed by one. 21 did not miss. Killing Oloran. She only yep. got back three hit points. Three plus three is three. Oloran death for number five. And, then and now he's a spawn. Yeah, then she'll turn her attention on uh, Ryland. Bite. What? No, no. That's a miss. And then um, grab a spawn for a Lauren. Now you guys have to kill the oh. spawn before Lauren comes back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the stats down here, but we'll use your figure. Uh, yep. that well, fortunately, a Lauren's AC is terrible. And let me double check. <laughs> yeah, it should be too hard to kill. Let me double check this vampire. They killed our elf peasant masquerading as a wizard. <laughs> 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 and raised him as a zombie. He's he's more powerful now than he was <laughs> when he was alive. Guys, leave me like this. Just kill my master. Target dies and rises <laughs> vampires to spawn. Player of slain target control spawn picks new breed after his spawn destroyed or fled from. Okay. Um so the vampires will go on Oloran's turn, which is 
now. So Aloran, <laughs> come here to kill Rylan, the vampire spawn, multi attacks twice. First bite on Rylan is a miss, second bite on Rylan is a miss. Aloran's done. Rylan, your turn. Uh, do I try and kill the spawn, or do I keep working at her? Well, we won't get Rylan back until you kill the spawn, so I, I kind of think you should kill the spawn. Deal, I accept your terms. Oh, yeah, I am unhappy with that. But that would hit a normal peasant. That's you were trying to throw your dagger at the spawn over there. I thought isn't isn't that? Him oh, right Lauren, there? yeah, that's what. I'm sorry, yeah, eleven is a miss, unfortunately. Uh, wait, no, uh, spawn is thirteen. Unfortunately, plus thirteen. We will your turn. Uh, I'm gonna shoot at a Lauren vampire spawn. Okay, that's a hit for ten. That uh, does about uh, three quarters of damage of its hit points. It's still alive. Well, that's way too many hit points. And then the vampire is going. Time to take out Ryland. Multi attack with a bite. 14 yes. missed. 15 missed. 24 hit. 5 piercing. Oh, no. 3 con. She regens 11. Oh, my God. We're never going to kill her. Uh, that's the vampirist. Now, uh, the spawn's going to bite at Ryland. Critting for 4 piercing. 4 okay. con. And it regenerates oh, 7. No. I only have 10 we're never going to defeat these. Come over to me. And then uh, bite on Ryland again. Oh, no. It did. Oh, no. This spawn gets two bites. Another crit for six more piercing and two more con. <laughs> Your con can't go below three. I mean, it actually can at zero. It's... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I think I think I did this wrong. I don't think Aloran rose as a spawn. When your con is zero, you die and rise as a spawn. You were just killed. You weren't con zero. Were you Aloran? Uh, no, I would back on nine. <laughs> okay, so you, okay, so we have to rewind a little bit, and I think what you would have done is you had her on the ropes, and with your hit wee woo that you did to the spawn, you would have done to her instead. That would have dropped her to half her hit points. When she drops to half her hit points, she turns into steam and dissipates into the jungle, and uh, she will oh, okay. she will return at an <laughs> inopportune time. Oh, sir, and then oh, Lauren, you were just outright killed, so you you're back at full. Rylan, look for any damage you took from the vampire from the spawn. Look for the word spawn. Yeah. Add that back to your hit points, and we should be good yeah. to go. And ten, so ten hit points and yeah. the con. Um, so nice. I'm back. Uh, is my con staying with the vampire damage? Um, hit points come back to full. Uh, zero. You're gonna have to come back to something. No, your your con resets because it says pick a new regen. Awesome. So you get resetted con. Awesome. So if this wasn't a tournament, I would just say let's go home. <laughs> 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 Uh, That's let's see. Know it's a good tournament. We're at 136. Crawling. Paris is gone. And I already rolled that random encounter check. And so you guys can all move around where you like. You see a portcullis to your north, Wee Woo, and you see a door to your south. Um, I'm going to move up to the portcullis. All right. Up there you see. For, yeah. yeah. You see this up there. Through the portcullis, you can see the necropolis of black sand. You see deep black sand pouring from great green devil faces and walls covering the floor. You see magical treasures, numerous, clutched by twisted mummies half buried in webs and sand. There's an ebon disc uh, intact. Wow. Intact, not broken. Oh. Yeah. Set into the north wall above a giant mummy head. It's 10 feet in diameter. It's solid and absorbs light like all the rest. Uh, there you go. Numerous treasures out there, you may have to get through this portcullis first. So, yeah. you guys, move, everyone moved, I think. So, we'll go to the next round. Yep. Uh, Am I small enough to fit between the bars? You're not. We would know. Oh, okay. Um, is there a lever to lift it, or is it just. No, uh, it's like all rusted down in place. You have to make a strength check to open it. Looks like I it'll be about a, a DC bar. 15, and it's going to be probably pretty loud. Might attract some creatures. I have a crowbar. Can I use that to put it between the bars? You can advantage on my... your check, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to do that. Okay. Then. Strength check, DC 15 with advantage. While you're doing that, I'll roll a random monster check. Two ghost uh, monkeys are attracted to the sound. Oh and my God. the ghost monkeys are going to go after uh, Wee Woo. We would DC 12 strength check to stop them from taking whether your beads or, or your ring of his. Oh, yeah, you stop them. They run away. Run away. I wish I had that roll for the crowbar, though. That was Wee Woo's turn. Ryland, what are you doing? Um, I can't really open that gate with people there. There's nothing. There's no mechanisms i can try and manipulate lock pick or anything like that no here i just uh can i can he use the crowbar i just used like no just, just once take around. it from my hands just once around okay. the crowbar i'm just going to check the walls in this corridor for, okay for you're double doors. moving uh alone. yeah i'm just going to make a, a circuit yeah double move in nothing in your double move alone in your turn uh i have a crowbar in my pack if Ryan go for it wants to yeah you can and try and do it. it or uh well my strength is awful so i'm going to offer it out to ryland so no action I'm, just nope, offering just it gonna, Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. That's the end of that round. Next round. Uh, we will. 
You can try again if you want. Crowbar again. All right. Yeah. Oh. 21 does it. Wandering monster check is a four. No wandering monster. So now you guys can come to the edge of this uh, this sand. Um, let's see, 26. So, oh. Necropolis of black sand. You see uh, numerous treasures within reach. You could attempt to take one of the treasures. Um, you see uh, there is in the treasure, although you can't make out details of them, there's a cube like the size of a die. There's an hourglass about the size of a fist, a little bigger. There's a wand. Uh, regular wand sized. There is armor, leather armor. There is a mm. scroll, and there are three pieces of a rod of seven parts. Would you like <laughs> to take any of those items? Mean? Yeah, we we had, we got some really um, good news about the three pieces. Yeah, we um, did. I I, I kind of want that armor, guys. Okay. I kind of want it all, guys. Well, well I could yeah. Go to, uh, <laughs> to to pry the the bars open, so okay, I, I um, don't. Ryland. I don't think I can do anything. You have to move. Alluring, you have oh, to I move. Know. And then next round starting, roll a random monster check. Got a three, that's nothing. And then we woo. Um, you said we saw an, uh, a, a disc in here? You see a... Yeah, there's an ebon uh, disc on the far north wall. Far north wall. Yeah. And, um, well, uh, I'm going to step... Put, I'm going to put um, my crowbar into the sand. Does it seem like it's it's like quicksand or something? Yeah, very dangerous, you think? Very dangerous to step into it. Okay, then I'll use the crowbar and uh, hook uh, a the the leather armor for my friend. Okay, uh, you Ryland. pick out uh, Ophidian armor that, and paste it over here. Show you guys. This is leather armor made of the black scales of an occult serpent. It imparts its wear with protection against venom. It's plus two with other armor, so base armor class of thirteen, and you're immune to poison while you wear it. Oh, I was thinking that would be so useful with like all cloud the cloud kills. kills. Yeah. Uh, did you want to put that? Who would want to wear that if anyone? Uh, I hand it to Ryland. You want to wear that I would armor love rather? to wear that. I'm going to put Ophidian armor. For I'm just going to replace my leather armor with... Okay. I'm going to um, back yeah. out of the way so someone else so, can get in there. Yeah. Um, the quick sand churns after you take that armor. You think all treasure will soon be swallowed, but you can try to take another thing. Ryland. Um, so let me read what you have left. Yeah. You have a cube, an hourglass, a wand, and a scroll, and then pieces of the rod. I'm going to go for... I feel like the wand would be a good item to get for our... All right. Listen. You grab the wand. <laughs> this is the wand of unlife. A painted arm and hand bones of a jungled necromancer steeped in a critic embalming fluid. It contains the spells animate dead and create undead. Levels three and five, or maybe three and four, I think. Five. Each time, but each time you use the wand to cast a spell, you will take D4 points of con damage. The con damage is not healed after death and rebirth. If you reach zero con from this effect, you die and turn into a zombie that attacks your former allies, and then you get new that. So you have the wand of unlife. Now, there is a chance that all remaining treasure has been swallowed. So we have you roll a d6. And you don't want to roll a one. All right. <clears throat> roll one d6. You're good. Yes. Yes. So now you have left cube, hourglass, scroll, rod, rod, rod. Which would you like, Lauren? I am going to go for a piece of the rod. The rod. Okay. This is a rod of seven parts. And this over top area. This rod... A uh, mythic arcane rod formed from seven segments joined together, coveted by archmages for its ability to channel any spell wrought by mortals. Um, only takes a one gear slot regardless of how many segments you have joined together. can only be used once you get three segments joined together. You can name any spell and cast it. If you ever roll failure, the rod uh, fizzles and is lost. Oh, oh so there, yes. There's your rod. Now, chance of everything as the sand churns even stronger. Roll a d6 and don't roll a one or two. Oh, oh That no. is the end. Okay, so um, Aloran's got the rod. Um, what else do you guys take? You took the wand. Who's going to carry the wand? Aloran. Aloran. Yeah, take the I'll wand. carry the wand. Okay. All right. Now, the churning sand looks very dangerous. You don't see anything else in the room. No other treasure that you can claim now. What would you like to do? We'll go back to crawling rounds. This is round uh, 130. I have a rope. We could tie a rope to one of us. Who has the, the tattoo? Lauren? I have, I have the tattoo. I think I, I, as much as I'd love to use that Ebon Disc ability, I'm, I don't think a Lauren will survive even with no, a rope. I won't Lauren. survive. And to be honest, I, what would we even want to scry about them at this point? How much treasure they have? Yeah, I I'm, I think we're pretty confident we're losing, so uh, <laughs> I don't think that information is going to help us at all. Listen, I think I'm doing pretty good for a peasant. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I think you're doing pretty good for a peasant too. All right, uh, it's a crawling round. Check out the yeah, so take your movement. Assume you all double move. Yeah. Yeah. No secret compartments in the hallway. And then you in. There's a door at the end. Uh, crawling around. If you're going to wait and listen, you can do that. Otherwise, you can open it and move through it. Uh, well, I'm going to listen. Okay. The rest of you wait for him to finish listening or go through. Uh, I'm going to let him listen. Then I'll open okay. it after. Which okay. will be the following round. No sound from beyond. Next crawling uh, round, let me roll a random encounter check good. or nothing. And then everyone can move. Oops, sorry. And then the <laughs> room you see beyond. Uh, the dancing girl mausoleum. Uh, there are wall tombs here, north and south walls and west wall, filled with beautifully preserved corpses of dancing girls. There's large urns at their feet, overflowing with worthless clay looking coins. There are some clay jars mixed with the urns. We learned a fancy dance. So I assume you all moved as you're action this round. So I'll go to the next one. Oh, I guess I should I should finish that. Okay, next round. We will. You want to do? I do the wonderful dance of the princess. Okay. Uh, all right. Venom princess. And perform the dance of the venom princess. The dancing girl ghouls rise and perform the dance as well. Uh, I'll pass the secret note to the rival GM that the fountain, in their instance, is now poisoned and all their turquoise jewelry explodes. Yeah! Tell so PCs about their sabotage to Mosin Team. How that works. <laughs> hey, David. Hi. Uh, we got the Dance of the Venom Princess has been performed, um, so you'd know what goes with that. In addition, I'll, I'll text you what special goes with that. All turquoise jewelry explodes, 18 DC or 3D6 fire damage per piece worn for each character wearing pieces. I'll copy this into the chat. Okay, we've got a this we've is, got a this shit storm here. It's going to be bad. <laughs> there <laughs> you go. This is a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I put it into the chat. Good luck, everyone. Blue. All right, blue. they were uh, wailing in agony from that. Yeah, we Perfect. we cackle gleefully. <laughs> okay, um, so you did the dance. That was you, wee woo. Um, so these uh, dancing ghouls, do they look like they have any treasure on them? Uh, they don't. No, they don't. Okay. Uh, Ryland, what do you want? It... I'm going to check the walls for secret doors. Make a Oops. circle around the walls. Uh, Lauren, what do you yeah. want? Uh, you said there were some clay jars. I would like to open one of them if possible. Okay. Examine clay jars. One of them has some moist war paint in it. Uh, the other ones you open are dry. There's enough for one of you to paint your face with a green devil death mask. Oh, if I you, want to, I want to. If you do that, you'll be immune to several dangers in the temple. However, you must obey when the Mother of Spheres beckons. <laughs> would you like to be immune to several things in the temple? Yes, we would like, but, Any? you know, if... I'll, I'll paint we will. Okay, we will. I'm going to tint your guy green so we know that you did that. Boom. I love that so much. Wee Woo is fa painted his face green. Sources <laughs> said when he ran this, he actually had green face paint to, at the table. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Players can do green. Okay, um, next round of crawling. I do that indigenous uh, New Zealand uh, war dance. Okay. <laughs> Sticking your tongue out. Yeah. Come um, on. Everyone can that's move easy. or... Okay, this next yeah, this next area when you get to where you can see that is a chaos warped portal uh, set into the east wall, filled with mist that cannot be cleared. There are plaster murals here depicting jungle huntresses, uh, but with wings and tentacles and gills and other mutations. I mean, clearly, clearly, it cures them. C clearly, I'm immune to whatever that mist does so that was everyone moving so no one did any actions and then next round we got a random encounter check and we got a forward which is none so everyone take a turn again i'm gonna stick your hand through there. the mist i'm not gonna stick a hand i'm gonna walk through it we goes on through he's standing on business okay we will uh let's see here if you have your shadow dark book handy you can follow along on page 190. 190. uh i'm gonna need you to roll we will a oh, 190. um uh, oh this monster generator yeah okay so um <laughs> well okay you roll a d20 please we will this is okay. for the quality. one you are now beast like and then you're gonna roll uh another d20 another d20 for the mutation two table you roll wait another one you see roll quality table well mutation mutation two it says okay double damage Wow. So you become bestial and strong and hair grows all over your body and your muscles are rippling and you do double damage now. Um, then you reemerge uh, as Wee Wa, the female version of Wee Woo, but oh. monstrous, and strong. Um, and that's what happened. There you are. Double damage now from now on. Oh, oh my God. I'm, 
I'm so we, jealous. I, I'm I, jealous. I, I look at your like powerful bestial form and say, I want some of that. And I walk in. All right, Ryland, you walk in. I'm sure this will go terribly. It'll be great. Um, let's see. <laughs> you emerge nude with <laughs> all equipment gone, except for the jeweled skull. And all that equipment appears at the feet of the opposing team. <laughs> so, Ryland... <laughs> You had the beads, the Ophidian armor, the ring of detecting secret doors, and that's the only thing. And then all your mundane equipment. And you had a plus one crossbow, right? Uh, no, plus, plus one, one dagger. dagger. Plus one dagger. Okay. Uh, so I, I don't even have my like torch. Or you don't even have weapons. Stuff. You don't have torches. You got you nude. You're just nude with the, with the skull. So this is. Really I like. I hold the skull in front of myself. <laughs> Guys, does anyone have like a spare anything? I wish I did, bud. It's it's a wonderful cod piece. <laughs> it's a pretty solid cod piece. Uh, I had so much good stuff. <laughs> man, I don't think I want to step in there. But at the same time, maybe it goes good, bad, good, bad. Okay. Uh, if it, well, well, Lauren, what do you want to do? I think I'm going to pass on okay. stepping, <laughs> stepping into, into that. the portal. <laughs> and I'm just going to move down here and listen at this door. All right, you I'll move. Next. Uh, next round, everyone can take their crawling actions. So Lauren, you're, you're listening, right? Uh, no sound yep. beyond that door. No sound. Got it. Then I'm just going to... Oh, don't open it. Um, Remember, you're at you. You listen. That takes the. Oh yes, 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 yes. I'm like looking through the jars to see if there's anything I can use. You're gonna move to a jar, okay? And then we will. What are you doing? I open the door. Move into the door. And next round, everyone take a turn. Rylan, you can search this round. I will search the jars. I know there's nothing else based on what you said earlier, but I need to find something to hide my shame. <laughs> Okay, uh, Rylan, you find searching the jars in this room of the dancing girl. Puppies. Uh, a a loincloth. <laughs> As your party's kind of leaving you behind, you can do the search if you want. It'll trigger one random encounter check, and then you'll find what you'll find. I risk it. Out. You risk it. Out. I'm okay. nude. At this point, I need something. Random encounter check is nothing, and you find <laughs> the Sphere Priest nose ring. This is just. Oh, getting, oh my god. This is getting more. Uh, <laughs> More PG. That's not helping. More R rated. Yeah. Uh, where's the you know, uh, Sphere Priest nose ring? That here. So I put that over to the right of your seven part rod. And this nose ring, worn by a beheaded priest who failed in his service to the great green devil and his beloved priestess once per game. If you're destroyed by a living sphere of annihilation while wearing this nose ring, the sphere dissolves and you instead become annihilated dust uh, for five crawling rounds. Afterward, you return to normal form, unharmed. So it's a one-time oh, survival of a sphere of annihilation. I don't just turn into dust. I turn into dust wraith. A dust wraith that you can move around. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So you found that uh, with your search. I and put then the nose ring in. <laughs> next round, I get to do a check here. That's, oh. <laughs> now you get to try out that nose ring. Oh, so no. Because I, I rolled a six. <laughs> Spear of Annihilation. Uh, you see, just at the edge of your light to the north, Spear of Annihilation coming your direction. Let's see how far you can see there. Yeah, there it is. Ever roll it's initiative. Right It'll be a 148 when we come back. Maybe it can't open doors. I had every intention of shutting the door to see. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sort the uh, initiative. Ryland, you're first. Be... Uh, two. Come on. Click, you bastard. There we go. <laughs> Guys, then... it's fine. It's then fine. the spear. Uh, da, 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 da. It's, it's fine. I'm going to guess what's going to happen. It eats <laughs> the door. It moves one, two, three, disintegrates the door, but that takes its yep. action. Uh, okay. Uh, it's three, four, five, six. So this door I'll just yeah. remove. At least you bought yourself enough time. It didn't get to you and annihilate you. And it's done. We boo your turn. Oh, wait. At the uh, end of its turn, it might blink out. Let's see. Blink, blink. Does not blink out. Uh, well, my vision said that if I was wearing war paint and oh, left, yeah. Hold up. Something, int so, something else happens. Uh, oh, no. Nothing else happens. Okay. Go ahead. We boo. I, I'm going to do what my vision said. I'm going to leap into the sphere of annihilation with the war paint on. Very good. You appear while well, you die. Uh, the, <laughs> the vision was untrue. <laughs> so one more death. Uh, that was your turn. And then Olor, your turn. Well, that didn't work. And I'm just going to one, two, three. And stop at the intersection there. Let me tell you what you yep. see to the left and the right. To your left, uh, or to the west, which direction you're looking? To the west is a statue. A two-headed woman wearing a loincloth and masks of the great green devil. Her hands are cupped around the mouth, both of her mouths as if shouting. To the east 
You see an altar. Chiseled limestone glows with orange radiance. There's a key atop the altar, the third key. There's murals of goat-headed demons with pincers cutting pastoral humans in half as they flee burning farms. You can keep moving to Lauren. Uh, five, six, and then double move. Turn there. It's over. Rylan, your turn. Um, I just want to take a quick look at the um, premonitions again, because I feel like there was something about... Oh, they're not the top. Could you post them? I feel like there was something about a key. It was a, a giant ape with a key. Yeah. Uh... Gar gargoyle chiseled in the likeness of a forearm carnivorous ape. Okay, so not that. Okay, um, two, three, four. Door. Okay, double move. Did you close oh. the door behind you? Oh, is that God. what happened? Did you close yeah, it? Absolutely. Oh, is. gotcha. Okay. Okay, it's Fear's okay. turn. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six. And then leaving the doors, it passes through it. Move the air so it's gone completely. And at the end of the Sphere's turn, it does not blink out. Nope. Oh, no. And then Wee Woo appears next to any ally. Pick which one you want, Wee Woo, and then something's going to happen after that. Um, I'll appear here. Okay. Take off the red X. Set your hit points to full. Oh, actually, no. Let me just double check something. Okay. Nothing happens. Uh, your turn, Wee Woo. Um, so this is where... Oh, yeah. Uh, let me let describe me the altar This is the you. altar, right? This is the altar. Goat-headed demons. Chiseled Pinterest. limestone, glows with orange radiance, and there's a key atop the altar. Key on top of the altar. Um, I grabbed the key. All right. A... Hey, uh, the key disintegrates in your hands, and a jagged bolt of acidic lightning arcs out at two of you randomly within 60 feet. Uh, we'll roll two <laughs> random rolls. Yep. Uh, it's going to be Wee Woo, and it's going to be uh, Ryland. Um, Sorry. <laughs> 32 points of lightning damage to the two of you, um, and minus four armor class until the end of the game. Uh, 15 dex save negates. So 15 dex oh, save no. to dodge. There's a chance. Ryland right. dodges. Nice. Um, do, I have a uh, grit. Does grit apply to this? If you have dex grit, it does. Yeah. Okay. So then I made it. All right. Very good. You guys dodged out of the way of the lightning bolt. The key's gone, unfortunately. The altar's still there. It's chiseled limestone and it's glowing orange. Uh, that, but that was, uh, it was a free interaction to try and grab the key. So you got the rest of your turn. Uh, uh, uh I'm going to examine the altar. I guess I should have done okay. that first. Examining the altar. There's no hidden compartments or anything else about that. Uh, then I... That's all I'm you can do. Move. Remember, it takes a whole round to examine something. Okay. Uh, oh, Lauren, your turn. Uh, two, three... Oh, God. Four, five, six. Double move. Stop right here. When you get there... Uh, da, 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 da. The statue of the two-headed woman who wears loincloth cloth and has the mask of the green devil with her hands cupped around her mouth as if shouting. When you get where you get there, steam and shrieks emit from her mouth. Uh, you see mourn you hear mournful wails and you see faint licking flames in the distance to the south and to the east and around the statue uh dc 15 wisdom save to negate to negate whatever dharma effect that has okay so put the shout in you so from the end of the game you'll be hallucinating about mournful whales and, and seeing faint licking flames in the distance that's all right i'm pretty sure this whole adventure has been a hallucination of <laughs> right <Ryland>, your turn <laughs> um Oh no. So Rylan, back up here, me back up to there. As soon as you step to there, you hear chanting from a large room to the south. You see a couple pillars, but not much more of the room. Chanting coming okay. from one voice to the south. Uh, I'm gonna double move. Is there any mechanism for moving quietly? Reminder, uh, I'm not wearing shoes. Single so move and hide. To... Single move and hide. I hide. And you can finish your move how far you get with a single move. I don't think I was gonna get much further. One, two. Oh, two more. There you go. All right. Now the sphere goes. The sphere moves in to here. And then the voice of the mother of spheres beckons. <laughs> in place of attacks, the sphere commands the PC wearing the double face mask to drag and shove an ally into the sphere. It'll be a contested strength check. Uh, point loss will be tripled for an ally disintegrated in this way. Uh, and then, But the sphere might blink out into turn. It blinks out. Yay! Oh! Boom! <laughs> You saw me eyeing up uh, <laughs> we, Orlin. Wee Wah was getting close to Ryland. <laughs> no. Holy uh, cow. Man, they're looking have, mighty probable. I have the nose ring, so like I wasn't too worried, but... Oh yeah, you do have yeah. the nose ring. And actually, I think I have... Uh, the way uh, Sursa described this is it happens kind of independent of distances and such. So we have to do the contested strength check right now. And Wee Woo has advantage on his check. It was Wee Woo gonna... Yeah, but he was hiding. Would I... Would I know he's there? Oh, there you go. Uh, what was make a high check, please, Rylan? Right. You didn't actually click it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. you knew he was there. <laughs> yeah. Oh I no. It out. So 18, you gotta be an eighteen, Rylan. Oh, that was him. no. That was my <laughs> wisdom check to spot him. My strength check. Oh, okay, go. strength check. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, we no. No. 
Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. So, Rylan, you were thrown into the spear right before it dissipated out, and Rylan, you have the nose ring. So instead of being dissipated, you can, instead of you choose your choice, um, turn into a, a wraith. You are a dust that. wraith. It's the same as a gaseous form spell. Shadow Dark, page 61, for five crawling rounds. Okay. I will obviously, if the choice is mine, I'm going to do that because I think that'll prevent us from getting that triple point yeah. loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll not yeah. lose any points. What did you say the page was? You will lose the triple One. points. Uh, 61. That's his form. Okay. It'll last for 10 rounds. Um, actually, it lasts for five rounds with this special nose ring that you used. Um, can you talk? Uh, no. Let's see. You and your gear turn into cloud of smoke for the spell's duration. You can fly and pass through any gap that smoke could. You can sense the terrain and any movement around you. Up to a near distance, you can't cast spells while in this form. You're pretty good at hiding in this form because you're in the steamy jungle um, already. And so, uh, let's see, invisible icon. And this is going to be the top <laughs> of round 148. And we'll go ahead and have you go first. So a good chance to explore some stuff. Yeah. And okay, everyone can take their movement. Uh, I assume probably everyone's double moving, so everyone can double move. Yeah. Unless Wheelan, you're doing or Wee Woo, you're doing something. Yeah, I double moved on okay. this. So Wee Woo, when you move in front of the statue, it shrieks and steam emits, but you're immune thanks to your double I... face paint. Now, at the same time you were going that direction, the rest of the party was going the other direction. You know, so uh, they, they went back, yeah. unfortunately. Um, Rylan, you're steaming into this room, and in this room, what you guys see is, and you can hear the chanting now, or Lauren, Great Hall. Square columns arranged in dense rows, wrapped with chains and decorated with reliefs of agonized goddesses. A Lamea priestess chanting at the foot of a colossal idol. The idol depicts a woman with devil's horns holding a ten foot diameter ebon disc in six fingered hands. Shadows are long and deep here. The ebon disc is solid and absorbing light. The Priestess has not noticed Soloran yet, and Rylan, you can make a stealth check with advantage. And she has not Ooh. noticed you yet. Okay, I think everyone just moved, so that's good. Next round, uh, I'm gonna... everyone can move. Rylan, what are you doing? Move back. Uh, um... So, uh, from where you're at, the Priestess, of course, you can tell is right in front of you there. The disc is here in front of the yeah. statue, yeah. which is here. Okay, um, I'm going to kind of go to the statue and... I'm, I won't be able to do this turn, but I'm going to do a search next turn. Okay. So we'll 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 statue. We woo. What do you want to do? You're double I moving. double moved to Lauren, catch up. What do you want to do? I am just going to attempt to stay as quiet as I can while so Rylan does Observing back thing. there. That's into that round. Um, start of the next round. Rylan, you are going to be this round searching the statue. So this idol, interestingly, it has a wide mouth at its top is hollow leading to a hollow interior and inside you see a pile of partially digested lamia priestesses and jeweled skulls like the one you were holding at least when you weren't gaseous <laughs> Ooh. other than that you see nothing abnormal about the statue then we will in a lauren you guys do anything up there uh lauren. i'm gonna i'm gonna hide i guess okay yep i'm gonna lauren hiding too right yep okay. yep it's hiding uh <laughs> next round Island, we do. Oh, sorry. Next round is uh, this is round four of me being dust. One. Oh, nice. Okay, random encounter check here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sphere of annihilation Maybe. comes out of the uh, black ebon disc. So, this is the first time you've seen one emerge, yeah. and what you see the disc itself kind of coalesce into um, the sphere of annihilation, and the sphere extracts itself from the disc and then begins to move as the Lamaya priestess chants in front of it. Um, yeah, so that stealth checks up there for Lauren weren't that great. No, nope. you guys, of course, are holding torches. Um, so you yeah. suspect the sphere of annihilation might know you're there, and everyone rolling a type. Wee woo, you are first. Uh, I'm gonna say to Lauren, maybe it's a good time to summon some uh friends for us, and uh, yeah, and I'm gonna shoot. Well, I don't have line of sight on anything. Um, there, okay, I can see there. Uh, I'm gonna shoot at the priestess. Can actually, can I shoot at the ebon disc that she's holding, or did it turn yes. into the sphere of annihilation? No, it's still there. You can shoot at it. Okay, I'm gonna shoot at the that disc. Okay, you're gonna automatically hit. And I do double damage now because yeah, I right now yeah one. it shatters and a cloud kill spills out of it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, our our guy is immune to poison. Oh no, you lost that item. No. I'm not. <laughs> oh. Um, so that happened. Uh, what else you want to do? We will. 
I'm going to say oops and skedaddle. Okay. Uh, Ryland, luckily you're not engulfed in the in the cloud hill. I'm going to sit tight in here, I think. Okay. Sphere's going to go. Six, four, there. Uh, Lauren's going to go. Yeah, I am going to use the wand to cast Create Undead. Oh, okay. And I am going to create a white. You can use intelligence or charisma with this wand. I'm going to use intelligence. Yes. There you go. Oh, hey, yeah. spell worked. <laughs> you have created a white. You want a white? Yes, a white, please. White. W-I-T-H. White. Piers. It'll go right after you, the initiative. Um, make it so you can control him. You won't be able to see through his eyes, but you should be able to. Now, you do permanently lose uh, some con. Yep. One D4. I'm going to roll a D4. D4. One, 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 one. Oh, no. Ooh. Ouch. It hurt. That hurt. That hurt. Might have, been wor- might have been worth it. All right. And then finish your turn, and then we'll do the white's turn. Got it. Move away. I'm, I'm going to move away. <laughs> All right. And then the white. Can he do- it's got a multi attack, oh. uh, melee attack, and life drain, acid sword, life drain attacks. Yeah, let's see what happens if I bastard or wouldn't that just destroy this? I am going to have the white fall back and just kind of like cover me like a okay. bodyguard. The priestess, uh, everyone fled. Is she immune to the poison? That's a good question. <laughs> you don't know for sure because you can't see. The chanting never lets up, so that's a bad sign. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, she's done. Round is over. Wee Woo, your turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to shoot at the Sphere of Annihilation. We'll see what happens. All right. Direct strike, and your arrow just goes into it and like disintegrates on its way in. Yep, that's... That's well, kind of what I thought. Um, well, we used up all the doors going that way. Um, and you know, I think I forgot to roll the thing dissipating, right? Yeah, we yeah. haven't had a, a it did not a, a goodbye roll. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna start heading. Oh wait, not everyone go that way because of that wailing. Um. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, there's really no good solutions to this. Yeah. Right now, it's just try to out survive the uh, sphere and then do what we well, can against. The I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way anyway. Um, and it'll have to make a choice as to who to chase. Okay. Yeah. The thing the thing blows out steam and shrieks again, which you're immune to. Yeah. Uh, that's we woo. Ryland, your turn. Um, is this round five or six? Like, am I still? I think it's round five. So I think you just. I'm gonna oh. keep hiding. I really. There's not all I can do as a. Yeah. Next round, you'll be solid. Sphere's turn. Well, will I be able to climb out of this mouth when I'm solid, or am I gonna be trapped in here? No, yeah, you'll be able to climb out. Okay, good. Sphere, Sphere closes on the white, touches yep. him. White dodges it. Does not take the 100 damage. Oh, well, Lauren, your turn. Yep. Uh, come oh, along. And the Sphere, see if it ends. Nope. Uh, well, I'm going to one, two. Three, oh, and 10 minute warning, guys. Five, six. <laughs> oh, you're going to make it scream. I've already been affected. He's already so affected, I'm... unfortunately, yeah. Oh, I see you're immune yep. once you get it. Okay. Yep. And then I can't see the white, but I'm ordering it to follow me. Follow you, okay? It'll follow behind. Yep. yep. All right. After the white, rounds over. We will your turn. Well, we got ten minutes. Let's find some treasure. Uh, I'm move thirty feet here. I'm gonna move thirty feet again. Okay. Pause. Uh, so you'll have five feet of movement left. It looks like when something starts happening. So when you get to there, um, a block begins descending from above. It will close off this ten foot wide passage. Do you want to be on the north side of it or south side of it? It's moving slow enough. You can safely jump back. Um. I'll, I'm going to move to the south side because then the sphere can't get me. Or okay. maybe the sphere will come and destroy it. Okay. The block comes down. <laughs> I we will. Bye, guys. <laughs> uh, oh, it's just me and my white Manfred. You notice, um, oh, Lauren, that on the side of the block facing you is a horned high priestess of the great green devil. You notice on the other side, we woo. We want. There's some blood crusting the floor. The stopper, the obvious tar sealed clay stopper, is on the side of Olora. And then Ryland, your turn. Ryland, you're now solid inside the statue of the. Yeah. yeah. These skulls that are here. They're drilled skulls, just like the one you're carrying, except they're cracked and smashed like they were a sacrifice. Tragedy. I was really hoping they'd be worth something. Um, I'm going to spend a round. Is there any value in me digging in and like kind of like searching this area? You know, I'm going to search inside, see if there's anything other than skulls. You said there are rotting bodies, maybe the rotting bodies of Lamia. Yeah, I'm kind of like gagging while I do it, but I'm kind of searching through. Okay, maybe I'll find some treasure near. No treasure found. Tragedy. Right. Sphere's turn. 
chasing after. Three, six. Uh, touching the white. That's a hit. And the oh, neck, which kills the white. And see if it blinks out. One and six, so Lauren. Please blink. Nope. No. Nope. Here's down to Lauren, your turn. Well, sacrifice your white. He's, he's, he's already, already gone. gone. <laughs> already done. Mm. Done and done. Ah. Uh, why not? We're in the final countdown. One, two, three, six. Double move. Double move. You come to the stone block, which blocks all travel to the south. Yep, yep. We will. Your turn. Um, you mentioned there was a stopper. Is it on his? On his the... side. Yeah. His, yeah your side. On you only blood. have uh, some blood, crusted blood on the ground. Okay. I don't. I can't. I can't. I can't tell you what to do. All right. I'll. Uh, I'm gonna uh, continue on south, and I guess double move. Double move. All right. You see the rubble of the gar. Gantuan Juggernaut Gorgon to the west and nothing to the east. Island, your turn. Lime out of the mouth. Lime out. You see, uh, uh, you see the, the the green square there is poisonous gas, but there's room Which around I it. Cannot move through. Yeah. And the room otherwise looks like the follow. Double move around. That's I think as far as I can get. Okay. Sphere's turn. Here. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Double move into close on the Lorian. Does it blink out? Blink, blink, blink. blink. Nope. No. <laughs> uh, Lorian, your turn. Uh, I am going to try to pull the stopper. Okay. Uh, 19. Uh, open stopper. It is a DC 15 strength or dex check to get open. Your choice. Uh, can I use my crowbar with dex? Yeah. Yeah, then I'm going to do that. That's going to be 11 plus 4, 15. 15, that makes it okay. You get it out. Um, there is a rolled up map inside of it. Oh. Uh, taking I'm that going... would be a free interaction. It was yep, an action take... to pry it off, then you'd have your movement left. Yep, taking that and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's the and turn be... after you take it. Uh, a jet of ruined encircled flame erupts from the priestess's hands, burning to a 30-foot cube north of the block, which you just run out of the area of Aloran just in time. And you have a map now. Let me show you the map. Uh, it's going to be over by your magic items. Over to the front, guys. Show you all here. You have that map. Interesting. So you can refer to it up at the top. At any point. Oh, we've covered a lot of this. Yeah. All yeah, of we it. have. So yeah, that's that. Doing. You can look up to it if you want. Lauren, you're done, I think. Yep. All right. Uh, Ryland, you were double moving, right? So making yeah. noise, I presume. Yep. Oh, God. The snake woman. You hear the chanting stop. And then a second later, the snake woman appears from the poisonous gas and multi-attacks you with her bite. And her tail tries to strangle you from around the pillar at the same time. She looks to have an enormous reach with that tail. We'll do that first. 13, but you uh, push it away and squirm out from it. And then she tries to bite you with her snake bite. You dodge that. She is done. Round's over. Weevil, your turn. Uh, that stone block is still there, right? Yeah, um, probably. Well, uh, this is another fine mess. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I'm going to try to guess circle around double move There's in. 10. yeah you don't run anything while you're double moving ryland your turn uh i flee double move in sphere's turn one two four comes here tries to touch uh oh. lauren who dodges it then it might blink out a lauren come on, come on, come on, come on. does not no. and then a lauren your turn uh double move hey ryland one, two three four <laughs> oh, hey. five six Seven, eight, or no, eight, nine, ten. She had double move to, to there. Rounds over. We will your turn. Uh, where's that map again? Oh, I guess I don't have oh, a the map. Very, yeah, you don't have them. Uh, here's uh, there. Laura, oh, where's, where's Weewa? <laughs> uh, we got separated. <laughs> right on your turn. Uh, okay, um... <laughs> I run away. Double move in. Spears turn. Who's to there? Lauren's turn. Uh, two, three, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> uh, priestess gets to there. Tail lash around at Ryland. Thirty foot reach with her tail. Twenty two for one bludgeoning right. Ryland. Ow! She can't bite you from there. That's the good news. We will your turn. Oh, and time. <laughs> That's the end. <laughs> well, it was right. fun regardless of how poorly we did. <laughs> oh, that was that was awesome. <laughs> Hey guys, time. Join me in uh, uh, channel A and we'll uh, commiserate over the pain you suffered and look at how many points you scored. Okay. Uh, David and Tom, do we get this area for finding a hidden door? Or <laughs> and then our halfling companion just lives in the temple forever. No, actually, I found the exit and I have a use of the a ring of invisibility left. So I can get past the statue. So we rendezvous all right. Okay. Hi, uh, folks. Hello. I hope that went well for you guys. Yeah. It, it went well for us. 
<laughs> we were starting to rack up a lot of, a lot of kills <laughs> at that uh, second phase. Andrew, uh, did yeah. you determine what magic item the ghost monkeys got from you? Sorry if I yeah, just moved you to another map right when you were checking your character. Okay, let's rack them up. Like um, You guys should see, hopefully, behind, below, where all of you should see this. Oh, uh, join my game in Roll20. Okay, okay. Yeah, join my Roll20 game. Go through the scoring sheet, and I'll start tracking all the areas you guys found. Okay, so Team A. Um, I, I was I was keeping track of the uh, locations. I didn't see numbers or anything popped up, so I just wrote down the names of all the heading things. Oh, nice, okay. Well done. Yeah. Nice. All right. Some of them I'm not sure whether they counted as locations, but I wrote down everything, and I figured I'd just check. All right. Um, if there was a heading, it counted as a yeah. location, I think. Is... There's very few headings okay, that don't cool. count. The only headings that don't count as locations, I don't think there are any, actually. So, yeah, count up all can the headings. Lock, and I'll count up the headings. Lock for... and Gorgon Juggernaut count? Yep, it does, yeah. Guys, sorry about the uh, the exploding jewelry. <laughs> 16. And the sudden human death syndrome. Uh, uh, you, you how, could... many, how, many, how many humans do you guys have? None. None. No humans. Ah. Uh, uh, Oh, poop. Two elves and a dwarf. Oh. I'm at I'm at 17 for the location count. 17, okay. I, think I counted 20. I counted 20. Yeah, you. You counted 20. Okay. Size here. So was, you guys had 20. Both teams yeah, had 20 then. 20. Yeah, Tom, can you put up the scoring bit? I don't have the score. Oh yeah, I can. You've got a macro yeah, I, for that. I do, yeah. Uh, All that preparation, use it. Scoring. Here we go. Five uh, B didn't count. Did you guys find five B? That's the hidden one behind the fountain. Uh, no, they did not find that. Uh, okay. No. Did you guys claim the first key? Yes. All right, it's four yeah. for you. Uh, second key. Yes. Yes. The second key was in the gorilla statue. You got that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thirty-two yes. Yeah. now. Third key. No. no. Okay, nope. claimed a segment of the rod. Uh, team two. A's yeah, got two. one. Team B's got two for 40. Ooh, they're taking a big lead. Yep. Uh, <laughs> claimed okay, the jeweled we'll skull. It. Team A did it. Did you guys get the jeweled yep, skull? we did too. You did too, 43 yes. there. Bad jeweled skull to the idol. No. Nope. No. Neither did us. Well, I guess talisman. I could have. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. He was right there at the idol. He could have just thrown it in as an offering. Claimed talisman to the sphere. Is that, that the shield? Been. No, that is in the main okay. temple area inside the mouth of the devil. Okay, cool. It's hidden among the bones and stuff, so you guys would have had to search inside there. Yeah, That's why I don't think we went to that area. It. Uh, treasure hoard of Kara Erica. I'm assuming no, since you didn't get the third key. Yeah. Talisman. Other magical treasure except turquoise jewelry, four per item. Okay. Uh, okay, the... I had. the powder of tiger ash count? No. Okay, so in that case, the urn, the urn I of had two. Dancer, the ring of seeing invisibility, the ring of no drinking or eating, the scroll of power word kill, and the plus two weapon. Ah, and the nose ring. So six. And also, and also the wraith. Oh, that's so true. Seven. 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 Okay, we got a ring of 18 decks, a circlet, a rod piece, a, the wand uh lost the affidian armor to you guys lost the ring to you guys <laughs> uh ring of invisibility and beads so uh, and, and the nose ring oh and the nose ring it down uh, the beads don't count though so six wait if the, the if circlet the doesn't circlet... count either so circlet oh, doesn't so, count either okay. cool, cool, cool. none of the turquoise jewelry so counts cool, cool, cool. Okay. so double check your numbers so circlet, circlet bracelet mask and ring at the beginning don't count either correct none of the turquoise counts okay. oh. is the war paint considered a magical no. item or is no okay okay so a ring from the clay is one the rod is two the wand is three beads don't count skull is four Beats don't count. Ring of invisibility is five. So team A got five. Team B? One. Including, excluding the rods, right? Excluding any turquoise pieces. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And well, name them I, off for I me. thought the rods had their own separate points that they gave. Yeah, they yeah. will. They Do will. rods count twice then? then then seven. Seven or nine, depends. Tell, tell me what you got. Seven without rods. I mean, tell, tell me rods. which items you have, since it's kind of confusing. Yeah, make sure we get it right. The the Wraith Chainmail. Got it. Two pieces of the rod. Two the rod. Green Devil Shield. The Urn of the Sickle Dancer. The Ring of Invisibility, of, to see invisibility. The ring that allows you to not require drinking or eating. The Nose Ring. The plus two weapon, which was a bastard sword. And the Scroll of power word kill so it's eight pieces and then two rod pieces and treasure pieces cost the rods are the same so they're for each either way yep for each of the way so you had uh actually nine that's a six seven eight nine ten yeah ten 
So that gives you 63. Gosh, I completely lost track. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, let me start from the start. Each area was 20 and 20. Discovered keys was additional 12 for team B. Two keys. Uh, all magic items, because the rods count the same, was 10 times 4. So that's 40 for team B. All magic items for the other team were 5 times 4, 20 for team A. Um, so now I got back to where I was. Uh, uh, jeweled skull. Both teams got the jeweled skull, so that's three each. So 23 and 43. And then, yeah, I had accidentally go. Now we're dead. The map fragment. Did you guys get the map fragment? Yeah. Yeah. It's 43 and 74, the map. And then 44 and 74, the map fragment. And then Hunter's Spirit. Did you guys get the Hunter's Spirit at all? I think so. Okay. Unless it no. was that Steam thing. So we're 44 to 74 now. 44, 74. Now deaths. How many deaths did you guys have in the early stages? None. Zero? <laughs> no, no, we have two. Oh, in the first stage? None in the first stage. I, I didn't stage. die until the second stage. Yeah, no okay. died until the Okay, stage. deaths in the second stage. Yeah. I died. Uh, I, I think it's seven. You guys let's, had seven? Let's go one at a time. Team B. I, I had team three B. deaths in the second stage. How much total for Team B? I think seven. Seven, okay. Yeah, seven. Five, six, and Team A had six, but they had seven in the first half. And uh, so seven times two is um, minus 14, so they came down to 30, versus you guys came down none at all in the first half. In the second half, we have six times four, so 24, so they're down to six. And you guys came down seven times four, so 28, so that'd be um, 44, would be 30, so 46 is minus 28. Six to 46, escape a crown. Did you guys have the crown or the scepter? We left. No. no. Left, left those. Okay, that's the end. Six to forty-six. Team B is victorious. Oh my gosh! Nice. Good job, guys. Now let's see what that ranks. Uh, ranking <laughs> one to three is sacrifices. So Team A was sacrificed, and Team B was tomb robbers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. Oh my lord! Who got two hundred plus? <laughs> Godlike. Really nice. That would be What's the best team got sixty-six. Uh, forty-six is the best I've seen so far. The first group I had oh, actually got a negative hey, score. Hey. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, I, I did it one on one. The 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 group playing by themselves um, didn't have a lot of luck. Did you have uh, a full team? Did you have four people or three people? They were both three and three. Okay. That, that made it really hard for you guys. The fact that you guys did positive on both sides with only three is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like such a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> Zero deaths in the first half. What are you doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> Mostly, mostly not enough. Mostly kind of messing around outside the temple. <laughs> that does help, yeah. Uh, there were yeah, a lot of four it's funny. on those random encounters. Yeah. Oh yeah. We got a lot of random encounters. Mm. The it first time I ran it, good. the first time I ran it, um, the poor group. The first thing they ran, rolled was a sphere of annihilation, and then I rolled. <laughs> then they ran into the room where you get double sphere of annihilation for the rest of the adventure, and they rolled those multiple times. So they spent oh, most of the whole adventure running from two spheres of annihilation. You can get double sphere of annihilation. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We had we had a lot of spheres of annihilation chasing yeah. us around, but we eventually managed to get rid of it. Yeah, they luckily or, missed the part of the yeah. Of I am rather proud as an elf peasant posing as a wizard. Of oh Hall. yeah. <laughs> Our wizard Our couldn't wizard, get a single spell off. Not a single spell of it successfully cast. I. Nope. Oh, I lost one spell the entire time. I was so lucky with my spell. Yeah, teach me your ways. Yeah. Did you guys, did you guys lose any people to the turquoise jewelry exploding? Oh, yeah. Everybody. Everyone died. Oh, no. <laughs> Everyone died. <laughs> I had like three pieces of jewelry. So like, my oh no. <laughs> well, it, it it worked out because we were all about to die by uh -huh. a cloud kill at the end of our turns and then you came in and we're like all of the turquoise jewelry is blowing up and we're like hey we'll take it <laughs> it's a win <laughs> oh, immediately man. between the turquoise between the cloud kill showing up and the end of somebody's next turn you're like all of it blows up you all mm -hmm. die I'm going to move you all uh, to the uh, actual map, and this will be a spoiler for anyone watching, so don't... Uh, oh. If you've been watch, watching before, you should be watching anyway, if you want to play, but I'll make it so it's all yeah. visible here. Let's see. I am definitely going to run this for my home group. It is so much this fun. Is fun. This, this is fun. This is amazing. So How if I do... DM? It seems pretty complicated. It, it is very complicated. There's so many little nuances going on. Uh, but by the second time, it was pretty easy nice. for me. I'm sure David struggled. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know what mistakes I made, but I There's know they plenty were of made. Them. They are documented, yeah. so that's the good news. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> there'll, be, there'll be a chronicle of all of them. Somebody okay, counts it. it up, and we're actually at negative 30. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, dynamic lighting off. 
save that. Close there that. You guys, you guys see the whole map oh, now? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there's nice. the whole map. If you come to okay. uh, this chamber here and you fight the Lamia princess that's there, uh, once she gets to half hit points, she goes into a chant, which makes from then on all Ebon discs spit out two spheres of annihilation and. Grab a disc immediately spits two out. So okay, I think that's where we got the upper hand on you guys. Is where we decided we just don't want to mess with her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's there's not much there to her. If you do, if you have thrown the skull in, that's kind of a cool little thing because you threw the skull in. Um, by the time you would have thrown the skull in, you had Team A. You had 10, 11, 12, 13. So roll a d20. I'll tell you what effect that would have had. All right, I'll do that real quick. I was in there with the skull. I should have just dropped it. I know. Uh, 16. <laughs> a rolling damage boulder crashes through the walls and attacks the other team. That was yeah, that, see, that was Team A's really first wandering monster, by the way. The rent, that the was our board. very first wandering monster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can get of really many. bad. It can get Living Sphere of Annihilation emerges from every Ebon disc and pursues Lord. characters on another team. <laughs> so which that's skull wild. did you have to throw in? I had that the jeweled skull that. that's uh, yeah. by the fountain over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I had that one. Yeah, I just didn't want to mess or whatever. So yeah. Moved right along. Yeah. What was in this uh, offshoot to the northeast, northwest? Uh, over here? That's the key chamber. So if you find the keys, and the first key is in this room here, uh, you have to dig in the mud on the floor, or clear the mud off the floor, and you'll find a trap door. Uh, <laughs> um, did you guys do detect oh, yeah. magic, your team? Team B? We didn't nope. have any. No detect magic. Oh, that's rough. No, yeah, but this I room's a lot easier if you have detect magic because it tells you where each of the magic rings are and where the trap door is. But that you take the first no, key was... and you open that door. And then you gotta go get the second key, which it sounds like you guys found with the ape in this room. Yep. Yeah. Then you go do that in one of the plinths and it opens this secret door over here. Then you gotta find the third key, which is really hard to find. Extremely hard to find. You have to you have to kill the Lamia. You have to sacrifice her into the mouth of the idol. You'll hear whispered voices you don't understand. You gotta prick yourselves with the poison from these doors over here that let you hear whispered voices. And oh, that, yeah, they tell you to dark, kiss... Yeah. That was true, that was true. Nice. To kiss the uh, devil, or the statue here. So two of you have to have devil face paint. If you both kiss the statue, it, it gives you the green, the third key. And the third key Where's opens the this door to the main bad guy. I've had no one get that far yet. I've had no one open this story. Face paint thing, the face paint. So the face point pain is in the urns around the devil face right here. So in room six, you got uh, the devil face um, and there's the clay jars. And if you search in the clay jars, you find uh, face paint. There's two of them there. There's also one more face paint in the room of the dancing girls. So you need to get those. Oh, yeah, you said, said there was like a dance occurred. What was that date? Ah, uh, yeah. So if you're in the room of the siren, this the siren will offer to teach you a dance called, uh, uh, siren offers to teach an occult dance. What's it called? Venom. Um, Venom Princess. Dance of the yeah, Venom Princess. Venom. And if you come to the room of the dancing girls, the dead dancing girl, undead dancing girls, and you do that, then they will rise up and perform the dance with you. You pass a secret note to the rival GM that the fountain in their instance is poisoned. So if you guys hadn't drank it in the fountain yet, it be, would have been poisoned from the out. It's an 18 dex. Okay. It's a like a 21 con save or die. First person drinks Whoa. from it. Yeah, we had already we had already drank. Yeah, that. That's crazy. and all the turquoise jewelry what? explodes. Yeah, you guys had a completely different run than we did. <laughs> Tell us about your run, David. Oh, they went. Uh, well, I think they'd be better better able to do it. But yeah, they went in the. Uh... Yeah, we started off by coming down. To uh huh. The, uh... Yeah, the first thing you guys did to the party was the kopesh. I noticed that, which was vicious. Yeah, the kopesh yeah. slayed several. <laughs> Several other party, <laughs> as you nice. as you guys heard. <laughs> yeah, that was brutal. Yeah. Yeah. So we did that. We the dead bodies here as like, shield to not get hit. Use the what was it? It didn't used, work. Ultimately, it didn't work. They used a yeah, grappling got, hook to try and open those doors and the darts. Oh, there's no door. There's nothing there. Yeah. Blue there. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing so there. We got the shield. We got the shield, and then we headed up north and we fought the vampires in front of the you know the northern temple there. Oh yeah. We got ambushed by a ton of. Oh, and then we went back. Yeah. And that's when we, yeah, then we went and saw, we dug through the mud. And like the right here, we came. went to the mud thing. How did you know to dig in the mud? Um, I didn't. I, I just like, we, we just kind of like, tried uh, it. Lucky. Well, we ran out. We ran out from the Seer of, of Annihilation. Then we came back in. We're looking for through the statues and just were like, hey, check out, check the mud. We didn't do anything like right here, like with this demon face thing. Because uh, then we went, went, yeah, yeah, nothing with that. That one's got a nice then match guy. It's got the talisman yeah. of the sphere, where you can banish mm -hmm. one of the spheres to the other team's table. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes an extra move and attack on each of its turns. 
So that uh, talisman of the spheres is sitting <laughs> sitting inside the mouth. You just have to search the bones inside the mouth. Mm-hmm. Like that. Wild. But yeah, we drank from the fountain and ran inside uh, up here, I guess. And we're yeah, we got ambushed by a bunch of hunters up here. Made them all oh, go yeah, to sleep. The got hit by the got hit by the Spear of Annihilation, and then just had to run for a while. Yeah, we ran through here, got, I feel like you got electrocuted trying to get like a fake key or something over here. Yeah, that was here. That was over here, yeah. There's that altar there that electrocutes you. Oh, I was kind of in the, I was in the dark. I couldn't really tell what was happening. That's when, right after that was when we walked in here and I was like, yeah, let's just not do that. Don't go into the temple with all the pillars. Yeah, and then we went here, we got themed on or something like that. Yeah, the steam from the statue here. That's vicious. Did yeah, you that's... have any demons up here after that? No. Because if, nope. if you've had the steam hallucination and you walk back into this room, the Galabrazoo comes off the wall. Oh, or if you good walk, thing we, if you walk we into going, yeah. the fountain room, your Merilith comes off the wall. And if you fight the rolling guy, two uh, type one, two rocks come off of it. And they're hallucinations yeah, in the like... first round, but then real after that. Gotcha. Yeah, we might have missed the 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 rock thing, but we didn't really try to fight the gorgon. We we like ran and hit and stuff. Yeah, teammate didn't fight oh. the gorgon either. Yeah, but we, the map. Very, we got very cut off map. by like this block and spent a while like juking out the gorgon and getting hit by this cloud kill before we finally <laughs> went around this. Oh map. yeah, and then and then he turned all those those heads turned into like real heads and yeah. screaming and. Yes. Yeah. The encounters <laughs> increase. Yeah. So then we ran over here and saw like the 12 huntresses and we were like trying to test out whether or not touching the things would make them attack us. And we didn't want to deal with that. So we just kind of left the room there. And that's when we that's fought, a... fought and fought the monkey idol thing. It's a very different strategy with mm-hmm. those huntresses. Yeah. The, the huntresses <laughs> in the room 13, they're they're uh, kneeling before the throne. They leer at characters, but don't attack them. But Team A went in guns ablazing <laughs> oh. and attacked them. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> While being chased by Man. the Gopesh of Extinction. No oh regret. <laughs> no Not regret. a single regret. <laughs> they're not yeah, very strong. Like, waving at them like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> It's at, the, at the very end, the Kopesh of Extinction got released as a random encounter, but it uh, didn't have time to catch up with the party. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was mm-hmm. vicious on our table, right? Because every hit was a crit. It was awful. Because of the uh, yeah. volcanic ash you guys spread around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so wait, what was... Oh, the map just went weird. There was that like thing that we almost found at the end. What was that? Oh, yeah, this little we hidden... found room. a secret door. That That's where we were when it ended. What was that? Right here? Yeah. That's the monkey bones. If yeah. You get in there and destroy the bones, if I remember. Yeah, you, you can, can destroy the monkey yourself bones. from the monkeys. Oh, those damn monkeys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were that lucky enough with the monkeys. We were yeah, okay. that's true. Yeah, there was yeah, not a whole lot of trading match games back and forth. We lucked out because we had left the tiger spirit thing out in the early on. So I think we had the advantage, advantage or something. Yeah. 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 Did you guys go through the chaos portal in this room at all? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, so there's a No, the what? There's a Chaos Ward portal set into the wall and you go through it and you get like all these mutations, but only the uh-huh. first person and only if they're chaotic or wearing devil paint. The second chaotic yeah. or devil paint wearing person that goes through emerges nude with all their equipment gone. That's why you guys got a bunch of equipment at one point. <laughs> if a lawful yeah. person goes through, they emerge inside out with all their items teleported okay. to the opposing team and dead. And a dread oh. wraith emerges and attacks at the same time. And if a neutral person goes yeah. through, um, they have a 15 con save to not be turned inside out like a lawful person. I, I guess I should be happy I was chaotic then. You, Jesus. Yeah, good thing you were chaotic. It wasn't nearly as bad as it could up, have been. I think we need to take up a collection to send Sursa to get some therapy or something. <laughs> <laughs> Trigger warning. Pretty Skin ugly. might yeah, be turned inside those out. Are, those are amazing. <laughs> I love it. It's so great. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. It is a tough, you know. I can't imagine a team actually being victorious. So is this supposed to be like Tomb of Horrors or something? Is yeah, there's a lot of throwbacks out? to Tomb of Horrors. The rolling juggernaut. There's an invisible uh, ring on a on a skeletal hand. Tombs of Annihilation. Uh, the roll with the pillars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't imagine someone scoring more than 200. Yeah, you'd yeah, have to... Seriously. Well, I mean, if you have Detect Magic going, that's huge, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's going to give you a lot of advantage. And... So like the best strategy is probably get a detect magic off. If you fail it, only the wizard drink here until it gets one off. <laughs> yeah. And then go around with detect magic. You'll find all this treasure here. You find the first key right away. Tells you to go to here right away. But then the second key is kind of random. 
There's no way to know it's here, really, until you search and find it. And then the third key is really hard. Mm. Throwing this person into the colossal idol that you don't even know has a mouth that you can throw him into unless you climb up it. Durs has said some of his, two of his groups figured that out. I gotta think that his groups have a familiarity with his way of thinking Yeah, that yeah. might lead them to do things that... I can't even imagine a party yeah. getting through that those steps. But. He's he's very. Um, he encouraged me and David to not be like withholding on information. Like if you say you're searching something, you find everything there is about it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like when you guys were searching the uh, bowl, the witch's bowl down here, and sitting inside that bowl is an invisible hand with an invisible ring on the hand, all you had to do was say you're searching it. And then I told yes. you there's an invisible hand there and an invisible ring on the hand. Because yeah, a DM could, you know, play coy and, well, you didn't tell me you were feeling along the fingers, so you didn't find the ring. Mm -hmm. But that's yeah. kind of like Shadow Dark Rules if, mm -hmm. you, if you say you're searching for it and you find it. Most yeah, time, so. yeah. I like that. I, I like how he does where you know what the magic items do. And these adventures he yeah. writes really rely on you finding the items and using them. Yeah. They're hugely important. Unlike a lot of D&D &D where the items are like things you split at the end, but you never use while you play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I just well, that's like the attunement night. thing, you know, it's, like, it's, it's, it's hard when you have the attunement system. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then there's a fourth key you can get. Um, where's the fourth key. What? Oh, so if you're in the fountain room right over here, uh, if you look at the description, it's not in the description of the room. The description of the room says there's a Lamia, uh, water drips from the lips of the half serpent Lamia. So if you search the Lamia, you find, or the fountain, you find that there's a hollow, um, her nostrils are hollow. And then if you can find a way to turn ethereal, you can go through them into this secret room. Oh, wow. And in that secret room, oh, you can well, find got, secret key number four. We got that one magic item that would let us turn into something if we yeah. died. What was it? What was that? Uh, uh, the Sphere there. of Annihilation. That's the nose ring. The Sphere Priest nose ring? Yeah. Oh, there's yeah, two of them. So that's what we could use to do that. Yeah, okay. there's two of them. And also, you could, in theory, if you found all the parts of the Rod of Seven Parts, cast any spell. So you could do Cassius form with that. That's a very specific sequence of events that oh, would allow ev that to everything. Happen. And <laughs> his adventures are like that, too. It's like yeah. you play it, and it's like, uh, no group's going to figure all this out. Some groups yeah. might find out little things, and they can compare notes to others after they play, and like, Oh, you found that? We found this. Which I think is a lot of fun. Yep. Yeah, I think if you had like a no time limit, then this this would be an interesting way to like if you did it not as a tournament, but just as like a you know, like a regular kind of dungeon, it would be a little interesting to see what, what was able to you be able to do, but I think with the yeah. time limit, it's there's no way you can find everything. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. If this if it was just like a normal adventure site, I could see some parties spending like in game weeks or months here. <laughs> right. To find We're gonna camp in this room and search every square corner of it. Yep. Be making a lot of new characters though, for sure. Yeah. You right. would. Yeah. We're using a lot of Ruva of five spells. Tom, what happens if you run this as like a non tournament thing? Do you just ignore all the stuff that says do this to the other party? So they have a way to do it, a uh, single team mode, and you roll a sabotage die every 20 minutes, and it gets progressively a larger die. Um, every time you do something that would sabotage the other team, you roll, you subtract two from the next die roll you make. So finding things that sabotage the other team help you. And then the table of the random robber sabotage starts out with uh, a random item drops at your feet, like that from the monkeys taking it from the other party, to... Living Sphere of Annihilation emerges from each ebon disc in the temple and hunts you for 10 rounds. So it does all the same things that an alternate party can do, kind of randomly. Interesting. Yeah. So you can definitely play it with just one party, and you'll still suffer some bad effects randomly. And if you can find things to sabotage, the effects will be lessened. Mm -hmm. The effects from the table seemed a little harsher than what was going back and forth between these two parties. Yeah, what did we get? We got... Uh, some items being dropped back and forth. We got the uh, voice out of the um, the Green Devil with all, all the counter checks. Yep. We we got uh, the Ashes of the Sickle Dancer. Yeah, um, thing, yeah. We got the Turquoise Jewelry Shattering. Uh, then that was it. So nothing from 13 or higher on a roll. So there's a lot more options. To there's like four more things that you know get progressively oh worse. <laughs> but you're not rolling a die that can get that level until the last 20 minutes of the game. There's only two times you roll dice that can roll... In effect, you guys didn't even you did you guys didn't see yet. All right, gents, I gotta get going. All right, thank thanks you for playing. So much. That, that yeah, was thank, an absolute goose. Yeah, thank, thank you, you all for playing. Him. Thank you, David and everyone. All right, thank see you, you later. Everyone. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah. See y'all later. Thanks, thanks everyone. Great time. Thanks, thanks for running, David. Yep. You're welcome. Thank, my pleasure. Thank you. thank you to both the wonderful GMs. You're welcome. Bye. Guys. Yeah. Bye. -bye.